Gah. <coughs> Hold on, sorry, looking for... <coughs> <coughs> Hold on. I'm okay. I'm... I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Ooh, what does this BGM sound like? Well, that's kind of chill. I like that one. Here, okay, I'll share this one with you guys then. Hold on a sec. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Navalitz. We barely started the stream. Hold on. Happy V-Day. I have an eyelash in my eye. Just a sec. Wow, Shiorin. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for dropping by. I'm, I'm in pain right now. Hold on just a sec. Hold on. We might be okay now. I think I got it. I think I got the eyelash. I think we're good. Hello. Happy Val- <coughs> Where's my snow? I'm sorry? Where's my snow? Thank you. Snow, snow machine. <laughs> Thank you for the snow. Sorry I was a- I'm sorry I was a bit snappy. I'm sorry I was a bit snappy, but thank you for bringing the snow in. Now it's nice and cold. Gosh, I love the cold. WTF those glasses? Cool, right? <laughs> Watame, Watame style glass. Hey, look, you know what? She left them for all of us. For all of us to be able to wear them, so I wanted to surprise you. I probably, oh! You know, heart sunglasses work too. Sunglass and sunglass? I wish I could see through them. This this makes me feel a little silly. Ah, that's better. I reveal. Hey, 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 double sunglass? Sunglass on sunglass on sunglass? Hold on a sec. Now you've given me an idea. Give me a sec. Hear me out. All right, now we're getting somewhere. There we go. I think there's still one more that we can do. Oh yes, the popo glasses. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hi everyone, it's me. Moe. Triple shades, try quadruple shades. I've got all eyes on you. Okay, that was pretty corny. That was corny, but it fits for Valentine's, right? It is fitting for Valentine's. Fashionista Moe. In the house. The drip is off the charts. Let's freaking go. Biblically accurate Mori. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for dropping by. She's too powerful. Thank you for the Valentine's wishes, by the way, you guys. I see them all kind of trickling in and I, I really appreciate, whoa, sorry. I really do appreciate that considering, you know, all things considered, I was really kind of like, didn't mind so much to do like a Valentine's Valentine's stream. I kind of wanted to just keep it to the, the charity stream that we did yesterday, but I thought, well, you know what? We have a bunch of meme raps that we need to write today <laughs> and meme songs, not just raps. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink? That's a song. It's not a it's not a rap. You know? It's not a rap. But we have a lot of silly writing to do today. Almost like we're writing poetry for each other. Isn't that sweet? Meme songs? Hey yo? Look, that's what the people that's what the people wanted. That's what the people donated to a great cause for. Hmm. I'm not a rapper. <laughs> I'm not a rapper, but I'm about to make this Grim Reaper. I'm about to ruin his whole career. Is, isn't that how it goes? I forget. I'm a little out of the loop. Oh, uh, it's not that I'm out of the loop. It's that I forget. Whoopsie doodle. My memory is terrible. You guys know this. 
Though it's usually my short-term memory. My, my long-term memory is usually okay. Haha, <laughs> psych. Anyway, I have these chocolates here. I can't give them to you right now because I'm, I'm too busy holding on to them. Just for fun. But I might give them to you. I'll think about it. If your deadbeats are good. Wow, these sunglasses are really heavy. <laughs> but you know what? Four is a great number. So. Super hot. <laughs> Please give chocolate if you're good. Though I guess you guys kind of deserve it after the incredible success from the charity stream. Thank you so much, everybody who donated. That was so kind. I kind of want something slightly more ganky. Hmm. This is kind of a blast from the past, this one here. This used to be my usual background music. I liked it a lot because it reminded me of Persona 5. But yeah, anyway. I'm broke until payday, let's go. No worries. Just you watching is, is plenty for me for Valentine's, so. So worry not. <coughs> Four is the best number, of course, as you know. Persona 5 invented music after all, you know it. Persona 5 invented jazz, as they say. Mm. Ah, just a small drink. Yeah. As for some of the other things like doo doo da da Instagram, right? My cat's getting an Instagram. Yay! Bring out the confetti. I, I'm pretty sure I have confetti here. I need to take a week to like revamp everything instead of streaming and just do total revamp of all of my stuff. Get rid of all the materials and files I'm not using. Here's some confetti. Proink! <clears throat> but yeah, I sound like I sound like um a 45-year-old woman smoker. Usually recently these days. Um, mostly because oh here are my roses. Let them fall. Um because I really I'm getting sick. I'm not 45, I'm no years old. <laughs> no, I'm not a 45 year old smoker. I don't even smoke. I don't, but my voice is a little raspy in the first place. And then you combine the cold winter weather over it and you have what we have now. There's too much stuff flying across the screen. <laughs> no years younger. 45 year old Moe? No. I've said I'm no years old, and I don't have a dandruff problem. This is my snow machine. Everyone's just bu- So many bullies? So many bullies. Man. You sound better than that. She doesn't smoke, she only <laughs> spits hot fire. So they say... <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Who's bullying? It's fine. I'm used to it by now. I'm used to the bullies. But once you get used to bullies, you can't touch you anymore. That's a little piece of advice for those of you kids getting bullied at school. <laughs> once you get used to the bullies and they don't affect you anymore, they really can't, they can't hurt you anymore. So you deadbeat bullies, you can't hurt me. But I'm still gonna yell at you. Can Callie bully me? We get those rare moments, sometimes. On occasion. <laughs> is my arm getting tired of holding the chocolate? Never! This is for my gains. I'm getting stronger, as a matter of fact. Oh. But yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming here, you guys. For coming here to hang out with me for just but a moment. See, I was gonna... I was actually... I was gonna take today off and just not not do a Valentine's Day stream um, and just kind of revel in the yay, we did the good charity stuff yesterday. But then, you know, once we got to the final hour of the charity stream, I was like, ah, I am really not feeling great. <laughs> I am tired. I need to rest. It was it was not the best. I need to get into a, a bath. I mean, I was happy. I felt fulfilled. But in terms of being able to like be entertaining and write like funny things for you guys, I mean, <coughs> sorry, totally serious songs and raps that will take over the charts someday. 
Um, I decided that I, we would just do it today. So that's what we're doing today. Also, because I, in general, I just don't like having things like that I say that I'm gonna do and that I don't do them on the back burner. Like we already have a couple of those things and I'm not gonna add to it. Yeah. Hmm. That was the right call, honestly. I think so too. I think it was better to just, I don't know, enjoy together. The ending part of that stream and just, I don't know, thank you guys a lot and that kind of stuff. Bing bang bang bong. I need a little more time with that song. <laughs> I haven't practiced it at all. I only know like the hook melody. Something like that. Mm. Throat candy and hydration check. I really ought to grab some. I also had like, um, I had a voice acting lesson recently and I was learning how to voice act in Japanese and man, that was tough because the teacher would say something and then like I would copy exactly what the teacher said and then She'd be like, well, you were close. And I'd be like, wait, I didn't exactly copy you exactly. And she'd be like, nah, nah, it's this. And then I'd say the exact thing. And she'd be like, nah, like this. And I'd say the exact thing and it would be wrong. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Pitch accent is very difficult. But by the end, we were, we were banging out these crazy lines. And like, I was screaming and using my whole throat. And then after like two hours, I was like, wow, I can see why people... I can see why people who do this for a long time need to take breaks from using their voice so much. I can see how it gets tiring because I never understood that until like I sat down and we were really like two hours just go and at it, you know? Cause like, I think a lot of times um, in Japan, people can understand what I'm saying if I just have like the basic way of pronouncing the word, right? Like, they get it. It's still very gaijin, but like, they, they can understand what I'm saying. When it comes to like, professionally voice acting and stuff like that, it's like... No room for mistakes. So... There is a reason it's a whole job. And, you know, if you want to do it correctly, you gotta get coaching. As a guy kokujin, so... Oh, that's why you bust out the Yihongo. <laughs> Well, well, we'll see. We'll see however it, it's gonna end up sounding. I don't know. I don't know. Just like a little side thing. But when you jump into the, the booth and stuff like that, you know, you never know how you're gonna get directed to, to do things, so. You never know. You know, they maybe the director wants something super Gai Kokujin. You know? Maybe they want something that sounds exactly like a native Japanese person, which means, uh, I don't know. If, if I get those kind of into those kind of situations, I'm gonna be there a while. So, but anyway, it's fine. Can we have a Fumoko rap collab? I don't know. I don't know if I can keep up. <laughs> they dropped some fire bars. <laughs> They're pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Maybe someday. Unarchived karaoke, maybe. They do they do be spitting. This sounds like you're scared. I'm pretty terrified. Kevin Lamar's been real quiet. Hmm. I know that Shiori also does some rap. Is Advent maybe the rapping generation? Where is their mixtape? <laughs> they can cheat with swapping lines and getting breath. I mean, that's any collab, any rap collab in general. <laughs> On the stage, we got two, two rappers, two MCs. Fuamoko. MC Fuamoko. MC Mokoko, MC Fuawa. Swapping lines. It's not really cheating. <laughs> it's not really cheating. Hmm. Maybe Advent is just, they're the rapping gen. Can they make a crew, maybe? I think that would be cool and release a mixtape. Too many glasses? Nah, not enough glasses. Deadbeat, not enough. You should rap with Shiori someday or Nerissa. Yeah, I want to rap with all of them. They need to get over here, though. <laughs> they need to get over here, and then we can rap together. I'm in. Invite me. I'm in. Let's do it. Probably, Shrug. They have more street cred than me because they've been to jail. 
dead beat. <laughs> you may be right. You may be right. Does sticking out your gap for a Rizzler count as a wrap? Um, I don't think so. But I think that she could make it into one. They could. Also, you don't know if Mori hasn't been to jail. The underworld is technically a, an entire jail country. It's not a country. It's a, it's a land. Far away. But it is very jail-like, right? And the shackles that bind the dead can also bind the reaper as well. Right? But I'm still here. I don't think that that'll do anything for my street cred, though. You, you make a really good point. Gotten into Monopoly jail five times. That's got to count for something. Yeah, and it wasn't always advantageous. Just so we're on the same page. Mori, your streams are comfy. Thank you. I know this is supposed to be quote-unquote Zatsuda, and that's what those big, like, kanji on the front mean. Zatsuda. Free talk. But we are going to be writing some meme raps. And then that devil is going to come over and write a rap about cats. <laughs> Why? Well, it was all for the all for the homing of cats. So it's fine. You mean the king? Get him out of here. Disgusting. Can he not? Nah, he's going to. There's nothing I can do to stop him. It's for a good cause. <laughs> it's for a good cause. Yeah, see, man. Mm. He always ends up everywhere. So excited for peanut butter in my bathroom sink. I don't even know where to go. You guys are gonna have to help me. I'm gonna need some help. You know what would be a really good idea for a potential, like, future collaboration would be a songwriting or, like, rap writing stream where I invite all members of EN to like call in and contribute some bars or like help me write. I don't know who would do it. I need to grab a lot of people that are available. I wouldn't want it to end up being one of those things I do spontaneously and like one person comes. But I think that would be nutty. That would be kind of nutty. You're gonna get trolled by your coworkers? Yeah, but isn't that the point? That beat. I think that's the point, right? We wanna get trolled by my coworkers. It's freaking hilarious. Right? Hmm. Maybe several sessions would be good. Yeah. I get a serious. Well, first I need to finish the music project. I just hit another snag. Let's hit another snag. Ah. That's okay. I'm working through it. I'm busy playing a gajillion games. I gotta chill. I really need to chill out for a second. <laughs> but I can't help it. These days, I just kind of want to game all day. I don't know. I would like to... to move on from... <laughs> just streaming games eight hours every single day because there's other stuff that I want to do, but it kind of feels like it's... it's like the only thing that my headspace is like totally totally okay with right now <laughs> I don't know I don't really know if I'd call it something like burnout or anything like that but maybe it is I think I've mentioned it before but the more I think about it I don't really think it's burnout if it was burnout I feel like I just wouldn't be here I wouldn't be able to make content at all I guess I'm just settling into more of like I'm just doing what I want to do right now you know, just doing what I want to do and not thinking too hard about it. Mm. Maybe I'm slowly becoming a gamer. Well, anyway, I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down, but because there's so much that I still want to do and I feel like, I feel like I'm wasting my time if I'm not doing things right. I feel like, I don't know. I hate feeling like I'm wasting my time. Games aren't a waste of time, though, because if I play them in front of you guys, right, that, like, makes someone happy, right? 
I have to be right back. S stay right there, okay? You can look at my sunglasses. Sorry. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> all good. It's always something, isn't it, that beats? What am I doing? Mori, get out from underneath the desk! What are you doing? I forgot my water. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I'm such a mess! You know, I'm very grateful. Thank you for choosing to spend... <laughs> Thank you for choosing to spend today, at least some of today, right? With the hot mess of whole live English. Here I am. There she is. Where'd she go? Boop. Where is she? Frank? Where'd she go? Sorry, I'm just being weird. It's because I'm stalling. I'm stalling because it's almost time to write... to write silly things. It's just jokes though, right? It's jokes, so it should be fine. What's the big problem? I found the old track for bread wrap. I found it and I found the lyrics too. I don't really know how this is gonna go, to be honest with you guys, because it's... It was from so long... What, three years ago? Was it three years ago? We started this stupid bread wrap and we didn't give it like a hook or a verse too. Yeah. The tracks <laughs> the track is by Master Anderaus. It was just it was a track where dude was like this is just a rando track that I made like throughout the years and like just doesn't have a home, just do whatever you want with it. It had a hook, but it was just the hook was just I get bread. But I need to add like something else after it. Like, I get bread! Da 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 da! Da 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 da! Rising like yeast in your head, I get bread! <laughs> what on earth? Burn my bread? That belongs to another song, Deadbeat. But I don't hate it. 
yeast in your head. Can you imagine if you had yeast rising in your head and your head just exploded? Would be kind of wacky. Are we writing about bread or what? Maybe. Oh, that doesn't seem right. Where's my background? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> Why did you stop? Why'd you stop moving? And where is my snow? Thank you. Goodness gracious, it's like the world collapsed around me for a moment. What is up with that? Welcome to the void. Anyway, this is where I had everything set up to write, but here. Now, this is gonna be crazy because you guys, some of you deadbeats who have been here for a really long time are gonna be like, whoa, I totally forgot about this. Right, this thing I'm about to show you, so get ready. Check it. Proink! Look, it's like I'm looking at a baby picture right now. Oh, go, go, ga, ga. Do, do, da, 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 ba, ba, ba. Would you like a rattle, small Mori? She's so young and small and doesn't know, doesn't know at all what the f she's doing. <laughs> Where did that girl go? Far away. No, she, she, she didn't go anywhere. She just evolved like a Pokemon. Untoasted bread, temporary title. All right, let's let's dig into this. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's take a, a deep dive into what we. <laughs> She's gotten an extra dimension. She has. She has. She can turn in ways that she couldn't turn before. Bread beats, bread beats, now burning. Dead meat, all the haters got my stomach churning. See you later, suckers, like a toast to consume. Slay you while your bread is watching, there's a ghost in the room. Bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a tomb. Haters on the rise, sure to my as high color of doom. Surprise, motherfuckers, but a knives out, it's a historical duel, a metaphorical tool. Where was she going with that? Just stop it at metaphorical tool. Toaster oven strapped to my, ready to fight. Strapped to where? Did it continue? What was happening here? Hold on a sec, no, I don't believe this. There's gotta be more. Go, go find it. I'm gonna go find it. Let me see. Where is it? Where is that old, old stream? Where is that old, old, old stream? Where did I put it? I'm going looking through my history. I can't find it. Come on, Earth. What if there isn't? There's no way, there's no way that it stopped here. There's no way that was the end. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. It can't be. All right, maybe it is. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go to my channel anyway, and then wait, don't go there. Go to live sort by oldest, and then look for where we wrote dumb songs. Man, this really was a gazillion year kazoo concert? I had a kazoo concert? Raps and supers. Did I write more raps? There's no way. I bet I was like, oh, just kidding, guys. I'm too scared. Rap party writing bad raps. This is a little different. All right, this must be it. I think I found it. Oh yeah, there's Untoasted Bread temporary title. Back to cooking for the toaster oven strapped to my back, ready to fight. Attack him with a bag of baguettes and a serrated knife. Oh my lord! <laughs> Shadow vs. Rap came next. What's going on? Hold on a sec. Alright, I took another screenshot. I'm gonna replace this one because we have sort of an updated version of this now. So just a moment. Broink! There we go. Wow, attack him with a bag of baguettes and a serrated knife. Bars, I can kind of see how that pops. <laughs> Small Mori, so aggressive. You said you were going to attack them with something very different back in the day. <laughs> Probably a good thing that I don't remember. All right, I, I kind of get it, but what we need to do is we need to get rid of, we need to get rid of the, hang on. I'm just gonna do a little editing right here. So let's, you know, rewrite the rap, because now Deadbeat's writing now, right? Let's re-rat. Re-re-rat? <laughs> re-rat? Let's retype everything in here. 
Untoasted bread. Untoasted bread would just be bread, right? Like not, it wouldn't be, I don't know. It wouldn't be regular bread. It's just toast. Bread beats, bread beats. Now burning. Woo! Bars. Dead meat. All the now we mention haters twice here. Let's call them something different. How about boneheads? Uh, no, boneheads are still kind of dead. All the, all the. Let's see. Um, I don't know. What we should call them. Let's call maybe like the maybe let's turn it into a bread thing like croissants. All the croissants got my stuff. No, that doesn't work. All right, all the, all the. Oh, the garlic. Yeah, garlic actually makes your stomach churn a lot. So let's cut out Hatress and just go for all the garlic. Got my stomach chur churning. Cause it do, like it, it really, if you eat too much garlic, oh man, like that can make people's stomachs churn. It's, yeah, it does. It does, though. What are you talking about? What do you mean, no, it doesn't? What do you mean? Anytime that you eat stuff with garlic, something crazy is going to happen afterward. Okay, maybe if you're a vampire. It heals, though. No, it only protects you from vampires. Sounds like you have a weak stomach. This has nothing to do with me. This has to do with my friends. Reaper stomachs work different than other people's stomachs. See you later, suckers. I got toast to consume. That's right, yeah, I do. Oh, hey, I'm a... Hello, investigators. Welcome, welcome, welcome to, the, to our jam session. We're finishing up an old rap we never finished because we saved enough money for cats. Yatta! So this was one of the rewards. This is untoasted bread. It's an oldie but a goodie. We never finished it, but now we're gonna finish it. She got toast, for real, for real. Hey there, investigators. I loved the karaoke with you standing outside singing songs. That was fun. Come to my house and do that, Ame. I'll probably let you in immediately though, so it wouldn't make for a very good stream. Slay you while your bread is watching. That's a, that's a threat. Like that, that right there is, that's not just a promise. That's not a cheeky one line, that's a threat. Slay you while your bread is watching. And then what? The ghost? When did the ghost get there? There's a ghost in the room? Why are they there? <laughs> but I'm, I have to keep that iconic line. There's a ghost in the room. Now there really is a ghost in the room because Ghost Cat, except Ghost Cat is actually outside the studio door, but you get what I'm saying. Happy Valentine's Day, Ame. Here, okay, let me, hold on. Um, you can investigate my heart any day because our love is no mystery. Be my Valentine? I think it works. Thanks, Ame. Yeah, live 2D ghost cat coming soon. There's a ghost in the room, and then there's really gonna be... Yeah, there will really be a ghost in the room once ghost cat gets his own live 2D. Uh, okay, um, bread, bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a tomb. Okay, bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a... Oh, that's why there's a ghost in the room! Got it, okay. Bars, fire, we got it. Okay, um... Um... Instead of hatress on the rise, because that I, that's a stinky word, I hate it. Villains on the rise, because I'm a hero. Get it right, oh, rise like rise by bread. Villains on the rise, sure demise. Uh, high caloric doom, because you know, there's a lot of calories in bread. High calorie doom. Ugh. Okay, that's fire, fire. High caloric doom, and the high caloric doom, the, the calories are the villains! Woo! All right, it all makes sense now. 
This is a hit. This is gonna be a hit. You think I should pitch this to UM? I think if I show my producer this song, it could really make a difference in the scene, you know? This could change everything. Surprise. Surprise, mother effers. Because we're trying to use less F words. Look, we can just beep it out. We're gonna beep it. No, let's do mother effers. Because we're just, we're being extra careful these days to look out for the little beats, right? Butter knives out. Historical duel. His historical duel. A metaphorical tool. To, to slice ya any which way. Slice ya any which? Like a, like a sandwich? Any which way. Poster oven strapped to my back, ready to play. Okay. Woo! My fingers are writing so fast. There's fire. There's <laughs> there's fire just exploding off the paper. The pen, the pen doesn't stop moving. It's just fire and fire and fire, which is spelled wrong. What's not? Me Mother Bakers? <gasps> Baking your mother? Okay, hold on. Any witch? Wait, how do I spell? No, I'm not stupid. I'm cooking. Okay, any witch. All right, I I'm cooking. Oh, maybe we should put that in there. Ready to play. Attack him with a bag of baguette baguettes. We gotta add the serrated knife in again later, but because I really love the way that sounded. But attack him, attack him with my bag of baguettes and then we'll we'll try it with the track attack him with my bag of baguettes um and re ready to play uh attack him with my bag of baguettes and and croissants on a tray croissant how do you spell croissants? <laughs> On a tray. I get bread! Yeah. Um, pumpernickel, pumpernickel style. Pumpernickel, pumpernickel. Queso? 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 Why is everyone saying queso? Pupper nickel rules take you back to school. Gordon Ramsay <laughs> take you back to school. I get bread. Yeah, pupper nickel rules take you back to school. <laughs> oh, Crowy Sant. I see. I get it now. Take you back to school. Stop trying to shove Gordon Ramsay in here. He has nothing to do with this. I don't even think he bakes bread. Bakers and cooks are not the same thing, Maury. They're not the same. I get bread, pumpernickel, pumpernickel style. Pumpernickel, pumpernickel! Let's just listen to the rap first. For before we get to the, the, the hook, right? Let's test out what we've got so far by listening to this beat. Here it is. Oh my god, nostalgia. Mm. I'm pretty sure that this is it. Hold on. Let me check to make sure. I'm pretty sure though. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, toasted bread. Okay, hold on a second. No, hold on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, this is, this is where it gets... Woo! I get bread. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Memories are flowing out through me now. Yeah. Dead beats. Let's go. Throw back. This is fire. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> heat. Pure heat. We're back now. 
We're making it out of the bakery with this one! Okay, this is where the hook starts. I get bread! Y yeah! Pupper nickel! Okay, I, I, think I, I think I have an idea for it. Okay, great. So this is the part where we're like, yeah. I love that Tansui Kabutsu. Carbohydrates in Japanese. We're making it out of the bakery. Wait, hold on. No, we have to say. Okay, hold on. <laughs> We're making it out of the bakery with this one. Pumpernickel. Back on the tray. Bread. Bread beat. Wait, hold on a sec. Wait, hold on. It's beat. There's a beat. There's a beat. Bread beats. Bread beats. Now burning. Okay, I think I got it now. Hold on. Untoasted bread. I wish I had some auto tune here. Here we go. Hold on. Get ready. Bread beats, bread beats, now burning. Dead beat, all the garlic got my stomach churning. See you later, suckers, I got toast to consume. Slay you while your bread is watching, there's a ghost in the room. Bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a tomb. Villains on the rise, short of my zachaloric doom. Surprise, mother bakers, butter knives out, historical duel, a metaphorical tool to slice you any which way. Toaster strapped over my back, ready to fight. Attack him with my bag of baguettes, croissants on a tray. Wait, no, I should, I, I said ready to fight, but it should have been ready to play. No, Mori! Get your thoughts together. Anyway, that was my first that was my first attempt at untoasted bread. So we have a couple things we have to work on here, but we were kind of we were kind of writing some heat there, right? Some heat for the oven. I could feel the flames emanating from the oven, right? We could feel them really kind of kind of gently tickling our faces and giving us sweet kisses of third degree burns. I could feel them. <laughs> All right, so the main issue is is this after villains on the rise, sure to mise high calorie, sure to mise high calorie doom. Let me try and like make those together, like push them together at the same time, <laughs> push them together so that there's like no pause. Sure, uh, sure to mise high calorie doom. Maybe there really is a comma there, but I have to remember to continue running through the the bar. Okay, so, <laughs> there's too much heat. The bread is burning. We can use that. Game 8910, we can use that. We can use this in the lyrics. Okay, so here we go. Villains on the rise, short of Mize, a calorie doom. Surprise, mother baker's butter, knives out, historical duel, a metaphorical tool to slice you any which way. Toaster oven strapped. Wait, to, any, uh, to, to, sli to slice you, to slice you, to slice, to slice you. <laughs> to, sli to slice you, to slice, Gah! Gah! Toaster oven strapped some- Because the toaster oven part, the toaster, this like toe syllable comes in before the next bar actually starts, right? Surprise mother baker's butter knives out historical duel, a metaphorical- <laughs> I love the historical duel, a metaphorical tool heart because it's just the most it's the most spiritual lyrical miracle individual line i've ever seen so we have to keep it it's got to stay in there even though it's got nothing to do with the freaking song just like there being a freaking ghost in the room okay <laughs> who am i fighting with the deadbeats are like yeah nodding go ahead keep cooking maury we're just gonna sit here and and watch you cook who are you fighting with maury who are you fighting with Pink meets pink. Doesn't make any sense, it's great. Excellent. Gah, the gah makes even less sense. The tool to, s historical tool, uh, historical tool, the metaphorical, spiritual, lyrical, miracle, gah! Toaster oven strap, toaster oven. Silly, you silly goober. Strapped to my back, ready to play. Attack him with my bag of baguettes, croissants on a tray. Um. Cooking heat in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Dead beats never bitchin'. Yeah! Never bitchin'. In the streets of... In the, in the, in the, in the street... What's a place that's known for its bread? In the streets... In the street... <laughs> In the streets of Paris, France. That beats never bitching in the streets of Paris, France. We gon' get to sandwichin'.
You can shut up and listen. Cooking bread is my mission. You bake bread, you bake bread. Ba baking bread is my mission. You forgot the second verse where you made this about rice? It's because we haven't written it yet. <laughs> it's because we haven't written the second verse yet. Yeah. Oh my god, the song's just right in itself. The pen, it doesn't stop moving. Except, yes, yeah, su submission also rhymes. This is my mission. You know what also rhymes with mission? Michelin. They're gonna give me a Michelin. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's so dumb. Um. Let's see. Um, let's see. Your real dad was... Your real dad was baking... Was baking bread... Bread is the temporary word. We're gonna think of a different tasty dessert that starts with one syllable. Your real dad was baking bread while your fake one was fishing. Ah. Bars. Chef's kish, kiss. Scones. Yeah, 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 scones! Scones! Insert the pen causing the page to burn as you write. GIF, that's exactly what I was thinking of, actually, now that you mention it. Well, your fake one was fishing. Yeah! Yeah, making scones! Oh man, the song's turning out great, guys. This might be the best song I've ever written in my life. Here we go. Kneading dough like a cat, making cake with this gat. Oh my god! How do we have these, these brilliant writers in the deadbeats? Wow. I don't know if I can include that though, but still, that's really good. Kneading dough like a cat, making cake with his cat. All right, skeletal lyricists over here, I see. Wow. Okay, I can't slack off. Yeah. Get this tansui kabutsu, untoasted bread. Here we go. Yeah, bread beats, bread beats, now burning. Dead meat, all the garlic got my stomach churning. See you later, suckers, I got toast to consume. Slay you while your bread is watching, there's a ghost in the room. Bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a tomb. Villains on the rise, short of my high calorie doom. Surprise, mother bakers, butter knives, that historical duel. A metaphorical tool to slay. God, toaster oven strapped to my back, ready to play. Attacking with my bag of baguettes, croissants on a tray. Cooking heat in the kitchen, dead beats, never bitching in the streets of Paris, France. We gon' get the sandwich and you can shut up and listen. Baking bread is a mission. Your real dad was baking scones while your fake one's fishing. Oh my god, it's so good! Oh my god! I get bread! Yeah, pumpernickel, pumpernickel bread. Pumpernickel. <laughs> pumpernickel. Do we really need pumpernickel in there? Pumpernickel? I know some poppers. A nickel's lo not a lot of money, though. <laughs> but but maybe to some people it is, so we should keep it. Uh, baking bread is is my mission. Thank you. For, someone pointed that out to me, and I was like, yeah, that's what I wrote. It wasn't what I wrote. I missed it. I missed my. Your real dad was baking scones while your fake one was fishing. Um, let's see. Let's see. Rhymezone.com? Here we go. Let me ask my phone. What are words? I guess I could ask chat too. I'm happy to ask you guys too. What rhymes with fishin', mission, sandwichin', kitchen, and bitchin'? <laughs> Bread beats are going hard. Dishin'. Ooh! Check the rhymes that I'm dishin'. Oh my god. Times? Times? Check the rhymes that I'm dishing. Oh my fucking god. Chin. Though it's bad for nutrition. Wow, this is the real spiritual lyrical miracle right here. Though it's bad for nutrition. Um. Let's see. Cursed Nights. Cursed Nights. 
by the oven. And it's not superstition. It's... But then I immediately go into I get bread. So hold on, cursed nights by the oven. It ain't superstition. Superstition. I get bread. Excellent. All right, now it's really popping off. Yeah. Nuclear fission, hold on a second. We were, how did we get from the bakery into the factory? Though this particular beat is called Factory Anthem. That's actually the name of the, the beat. Pumpernickel Beats. Um, Pumpernickel Beats. Um, Let's see, have I already used the phrase cooking heat? Or heat? Oh, there we go, yeah, cooking heat in the kitchen. Upper nickel beets. Making something sweet. Because it's Valentine's Day. Making something sweet. Gurra's bread tastes like feet. Bread! And then just repeat it. Now we gotta repeat, okay, um... Got, got this on repeat, it's okay. You know, we just repeat it, it's easy. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. What do feet taste like? I don't know, can one of you deadbeats tell me? Cause I'm pretty sure one of you knows. Here we go. All right, excellent, it's all coming together now. Yeah. 2021, early 2021 rap into 2024 untoasted bread yeah bread beats bread beats now burning dead beat all the garlic got my stomach churning see you later suckers i got toast to consume slay you while your bread is watching there's a ghost in the room bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a tomb villains on the rise short of my high calorie doom surprise mother baker's butter knives that historical duel a metaphorical tool to slice ah, toaster oven strapped to my back ready to play attack with my bag of baguettes croissants on a tray cooking heat in the kitchen dead beats never bitching in the streets of paris france we gon' get the sandwich and you can shut up and listen Baking bread is my mission Your real dad was baking scones While your fake one was fishing Check the rhymes that I'm dishing Though it's bad for nutrition Cursed nights by the oven It ain't superstition I get bread Yeah Pumpernickel beets Making something sweet Girl's bread tastes like feet Bread Yeah Pumpernickel beets Making something sweet Girl's bread tastes like feet Bread Yeah Pumpernickel beets Making something sweet Girl's bread tastes like feet Bread Yeah Pumpernickel beets Making something sweet Yeah Yeah I'm a big fan of rice. Rice is nice. I like it because of its lack of spice. Got me thinking twice about this bread wrap rice. Yeah. Rice is paradise. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> we rise. <laughs> we rise in like yeast with this one. You know it. Pack and heat. Rice, that freestyle. <laughs> Rice rhymes with a lot of things. So we might be onto something. We, we just might, we might be onto something. So that's the first verse, and then we'd have to write a second verse. <laughs> Fauna making sourdough, so work with her. Yeah, Fauna, let's get in the kitchen together. Yeah, Seaman's been real quiet since this, since this dropped. We can do a quick little second verse about, about rice. Milky is proud. We got to give her a shout out. Though I was kind of hoping that she could come in and give like, you know, a little like, like diss track, I guess, right back at me for writing a, a track about bread. Like I want to hear her and Rice Man kind of come at me with like a, a rice track. But you know what? Maybe I should make the second verse about how I don't like rice and I don't think it's nice. And I would think twice. Cause rice won't suffice. <laughs> Leave out the rice. Milky and shambles. Let me do a rice diss in verse two. See if Milky can come back at me. See if she can come, come back at me. All right. 
Let's see, so here's what I'm gonna do. We've got the bread wrap verse one, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy paste everything that we've written here so that I can quickly paste it back. I'm putting it in a notepad. Bread, and then we re repeat it. You wrote a rice diss in 2020, really? There's no way. I did? How dare you talk shiitake about rice. Verse two for Milky, then we gotta record the whole thing. Maybe I can record it on stream. Open up Adobe Audition and just do it. Just throw it down. That could be good. Yeah. I'll need to use my nice mic. So you guys will probably hear me from far away as I won't be using this microphone. You'll hear me from far away though. From... Yeah, let's do it. You opened up Pandora's toaster. What are you talking about? Verse two is about how much we don't like rice, okay? Uh, verse two is the rice dis. Okay, verse two. Um, so let's pretend that like suddenly I look in the crowd, right? I'm throwing down these these really quite fiery, quite quite hardcore bars about bread, right? And then I look out into the crowd, and somebody's got this this diabolical poster that says something like, "Yo, bread sucks. Rice is where it's at." Okay, um, let's see. What what am I gonna say? Let me, let me see. Um Hold on a sec. Um Okay. Hold on. Th throws you Basamati. People start throwing rice at me on the on the, the stage. All I have to do, all I have to do is think of a place to start, and then the pen just moves on its own. Okay? <laughs> Noodle dis dis track duck. I like noodles. Um, let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Of course, you're gonna be. I get rice. No, it's gonna be. I hate rice. Throwing rice like you were you're a pigeon. <laughs> Alright, I'll take this deadbeat suggestion. Why are you throwing rice? Like your boy is a pigeon. Oh god, why do we choose the word pigeon? Bird! Pigeon, smidgen. Fidgetin. Religion! Like. Like your love for Basamati. Is the goddamn religion. Oh my god! Bars! I need some. Hold on, I need fire. <laughs> Do I have a fire asset? Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm gonna go find one. Let's get some green screen fire on the screen. Let's see what we got. Okay, alpha channel fire. That seems like something that I would need. Here we go. Whenever we come up with a particularly fire bar, we can throw this on the screen. Alpha channel flame. Ooh, it's getting hot in here, just like we're in a real kitchen. You added a syllable to Basamati. Oh, is it Basmati? Okay, well, listen. The lady that used to babysit for me called it Basamati, okay? Like, oh, but you know what? We can still make it work. In fact, it might actually sound cooler if it's not Basamati, but Basmati. Yeah, she'd be like, Maury, my my the my husband cooked for me some basamati rice. Yeah, yeah, my rhymes strike hot with deadly precision. Yeah, precision also rhymes with religion. Although I guess we could switch up the word here, but maybe maybe the next two bars continue the rhyme. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Um. Let's see. You're gonna fight. You're gonna fight a losing battle with this hole that you're digging. Cause the flames from my oven strike with. 
strike with deadly precision. You see, it works. Precision. It's perfect. Sprinkle some, sprinkle some salt on those wounds. Spiritual, lyrical, miracle individual. Be careful with the fire. I know it's too much power. With, bit, with great power comes great responsibility, though. Why you throw in rice like your boy is a pigeon? Like your love for Basmati is a goddamn religion. You're gonna fight a losing battle. Wait, look, show about that. Show about that. Like your love for Basmati is a goddamn religion. You're gonna fight a losing battle with this hole that you're digging. Cause the flames from my oven strike with deadly precision. It reads more like a poem right now, but that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't matter because um, this is definitely this is not a shit post. This is a very legitimate rap that we're writing right now. With deadly precision, um. Got no respect for what you're given. So why are you living if you aren't if you aren't eating eating heavy carbs? Oh, why are you why are you living? We'll put it there and then we'll delete the one. But why are you living if you're not eating heavy carbs? I know that rice is carbs too, but it's less carbs. Respect for what you got no Got no respect for what you're given because I've given you this toast on your plate and you're like, ooh, yada, I don't want it. What what for what for what you're given? Um For what you're given. So make a decision. If you aren't eating he if you aren't eating heavy carbs, why are you living? Well, let's see. I would use the F word here, but I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say, uh, let's see. <laughs> Grind your grains for these gains. Woo! Wordsmith. Rhymes. What is she cooking? Basmati is said with a Z sound, not an S sound. All right, we got some Basmati experts here. The F word is family. If you're not eating, if you ain't eating, if you ain't eating heavy, if if you ain't eating heavy carbs, why are you living? Um. And then we're gonna move on to rice because rice has a lot of rhymes for it. Um. Let's see. I don't f with your rice. With with the rice. I don't f with the rice. Cause it doesn't taste nice. Now we're sounding like Dr. Seuss. It's it's just a, it's a nod to Dr. Seuss. That's all that it is. Cause it doesn't taste nice. It's not me being lazy. This is a nod to Dr. Seuss. Cause it doesn't taste nice. Um. Not to mention that the shit is like double the price. Yeah, very family friendly. Yup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, double. Sorry, sometimes the pen, the pen moves so fast. I just start losing words, right? Not to mention that the shit is like double the price. Um. Let's see. Um, let's see. It, it'll never, it'll never suffice. Suffice. And it looks like lice. <laughs> Take my advice, it'll never suffice. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, my advice. Ah. Won't even feed it to the mice. Ah, but you know, Bay, Bay, Bay also really likes rice a lot, so I feel like maybe you would feed it to the mice. So she's a rat, so it's a little bit different. Um, let's see. 
I think twice. Yeah, twice is probably good. Uh, let's see. Bread versus grains. No one ever thinks twice. I know the grains part is a little ironic, you see, because actually grain is used to make bread, but it's also like grains of rice. I get bread! The hook, the hook might actually not, it might not um, start again so soon. I think it might, the hook might actually not happen again because the song structure is actually, I think the hook for this particular song and the song structure is about, um, I'm gonna have to edit it. <laughs> Dr. Seuss, is that you? Shh. He's only borrowing my, my body for just a moment from the other side, okay? Need a little pause, obviously. Do some ad-libs in there. <laughs> all right, P to the rice. Now let's see what we got here. Let's give it, all right, flames. The flames have to stay because I mean, honestly, just the whole stream is just fire. Here we go. Yeah. First reading off the notepad. You can't see this verse, but believe in your heart these words that I'm saying, here we go. Bread beats, bread beats, now burning. Dead meat, all the garlic got my stomach churning. See you later, suckers, I got toast to consume. Th there's a ghost in the room, there's a ghost in the room. No, I messed up. Hold on a sec. It needs to be of the highest quality. I'm saving some of my energy right now. I can't, I can't deliver it 100%, but I still, we got some fire in these bars. Bread beats, bread beats, now burning. Dead meat, all the garlic got my stomach churning. See you later, suckers, I got toast to consume. Slay you while your bread is watching, there's a ghost in the room. Bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a tomb. Villains on the rise, short of mice like Hallow Doom. Surprise, mother baker's butter knives. A store, it's a store, a but gah! So strap a strap to my back, ready to play. Attacking with my bag of baguettes, croissants, and a tray. Cooking heat in the kitchen, dead beats. Never bitching in the streets of Paris, France. We gon' get a sandwich and you can shut up and listen. Baking bread is my mission. Your real dad was big in scones while your fake one was fishing. Check the rhymes that I'm dishing. That was bad for nutrition. Cursed nights by the oven. It ain't superstition. Get bread. Yeah. Pumpernickel beats. Make it something sweet. Girl's bread tastes like feet. Bread. Yeah. Pumpernickel beats. Make it something sweet. Girl's bread tastes like feet. Bread. Yeah. Pumpernickel beats. Make it something sweet. Girl's bread tastes like feet. Bread. Yeah. Pupper nickel beats, make us something sweet. Girl's bread tastes like feet. Why you throwing rice like your boy is a pigeon? Love we like you love basmati is a goddamn religion. You're gonna fight a losing battle with this hole that you're digging. Cause the flames from my oven strike with deadly precision. Got no respect for what you're given, so make a decision. If you aren't eating heavy carbs, why are you living? I don't f with the rice, cause it doesn't taste nice. Not to mention that the shit is like double the price. It'll never suffice. You gotta take my advice. Bread versus grains. Nobody ever thinks twice. And then we have a couple more bars. Like the rice, if the wrap, it continues. I get bread. Yeah, girls, bread tastes like feet. It's very sweet bread. Yeah, good. Pupper nickel, gura. Bread. Yeah. And that's the end. That's the end of the wrap. So we have to we have about five more lines. About five more lines. <laughs> this might be my magnum opus. I don't know. So Gura's feet taste like bread? No, I said her bread tastes like feet. Get it, get it right. Dead beat, feet, bread beats, pumpernickel beats. Gura's bread, it tastes like feet. Need your dough that I'm loving. Put that bun in the oven. In my mouth, I'll be shoving this bread. We got some spiritual lyrical miracles in the chat right now. I, I do want to do the need your dough. Bread versus grains, no one ever thinks twice. No one ever think twice. The the S going into the T and the W is kind of like the alliteration is not very good. I know it's a shit post, but we're gonna make it think twice. No one ever think twice. Okay. Um need and dough. Need, need, need the dough. I am gonna steal that. Need the dough that you're loving. I don't take every deadbeat suggestion, but some of them are pretty good. Put your buns in the oven. In the oven. Shoving. Put your buns in the oven. Shrugging. 
I guess I could be shrugging. Making baby bread. No, no, no. We have to stop that there. Put your buns in the oven. In the oven. Shrugging. Bugging. <laughs> she moving. Let's see. We're, we're gonna keep cooking. Needing the d everything twice. Needing the dough that you're loving. Put your buns in the oven. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was that simple. We're, we're back to bread again, by the way. Sucking juice at your rice. Like a vampire coven. Woo! Wordsmith. Rhymes. Bars. <laughs> it's pro probably, probably maybe the worst word that I could have used to rhyme there. Because you need the worst words for the best reps. While I'm baking bread, babies. Let them pop like bacon. Get your, get your butt in the kitchen. You can see what I'm making. <laughs> rice has juice, almond has, rice can be juicy. When you make it in the rice maker and it's it's kind of got like the rice juices, they're like a little, a little, um, murky. Kind of foggy water. <laughs> Vampires practice dark magic, so I'd say it's safe. Yeah, it's moist. Do you see what I did with bacon and bacon? It's called a, a high level rapper move. <laughs> Yeah, and then we get into I get bread, good, smells like feet, etc. All right, let's see if that's enough. Mathematically, it might not be enough. I'm sure some of you guys know, but I don't. So here we go. This this might be this might be it. Yeah, I'm toasted bread. Here we go. Uh, bread beats, bread beats, now burning Dead meat, all the garlic got my stomach churning See you later suckers, I got toast to consume Slay you while your bread is watching, there's a ghost in the room Bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a tomb Villains on the rise, short of mice, high calorie doom Surprise mother bakers, butter knives at a historical duel A metaphorical tool to slice God, those dominoes wrapped in my bag, ready to fight Attack him with my bag of baguettes, croissants on a tray Cooking heat in the kitchen, dead beats never bitching In the streets of Paris, France, we gon' get a sandwich and You can shut up and listen Baking bread is my mission Your real dad was baking scones while your fake one was fishing Check the rhymes that I'm dishing Though it's bad for nutrition Cursed nights by the oven It ain't superstition I get bread Yeah Puffer nickel beets Making something sweet Girl's bread tastes like feet bread Yeah Puffer nickel beets Making something sweet Girl's bread tastes like feet bread Yeah Puffer nickel beets Making something sweet Girl's bread tastes like feet bread Yeah Making something sweet Girl's bread tastes like feet Why are you throwing rice like your boy is a pigeon Like your love for basmati is a goddamn religion You're gonna fight a losing battle with this hole that you're digging Cause the flames from my oven strike with deadly precision Got no respect for what you're giving, so make a decision If you aren't eating heavy carbs, why are you living? I don't F with the rice, cause it doesn't taste nice Not to mention that the shit is like double the price It'll never suffice, you gotta take my advice Bread versus grains, no one ever thinks twice Needing the dough that you love and put your buns in the oven Sucking juice at your rice like a vampire Coven. While I'm baking bread, babies let them pop like bacon. Get your butt in the kitchen, you can see what I'm making. I get bread, it's too long. We wrote too many bars, we got too into the fire. We have to delete two. Because I really like the bacon part with the bread babies that are popping like bacon in the oven. I don't F with the rice because it doesn't taste nice, not to mention that the shit is like double the price. We can get rid of this. Because also the bread versus grains part, the syllables are all off. It's all off. Okay, here we go. But there is one thing that I think I want to change. The hook is too repetitive. Pupper nickel beats making something sweet. Gurr's bread tastes like feet. I want to use the same motif 
but switch it up with different members of Hololive English Myth. Except for me, of course. Bread, yeah, pumpernickel beets, making something sweet, uh... Wawa? What rhymes with sweet? Making something, it doesn't have to be sweet, making something spicy. Um... Making something, making something... Making something... Making something, hold on a second. I was gonna look for something that rhymes with chicken, but the only thing that I can think of is like, uh, uh, let's, let's do, let's go for something sickening. And then get ready for the chickening. Yeah. The pumpernickel beats, something sickening. Um, cause sickening kind of sounds like, but it doesn't rhyme with bees. Pumpernickel, Oh my God! We have to do, we have to rhyme it with sweet. Making something sweet. Wow, with songs on repeat. Yeah, cause she makes really good music. Making something sweet. Wow, wow, songs on repeat. You can imagine us in the kitchen baking bread, playing do you. Bread, yeah. Pumpernickel beats, making something sweet. Ordering taco eats. Bread. Stream sparks. <gasps> stream sparks. Yes, yeah, stream sparks on repeat. I like that. Make it something sweet. Stream sparks on repeat. I like that. Ordering taco eats. And then we just have to do one for Ame. Br bread. Yeah, pumper nickel beats. Make making something sweet. Let me think. Let me think. Something about <laughs> Ame goes. <laughs> I guess something sweet. And no, it's just, it's just. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Here's the whole song. This is the whole song. This is the entire song. It's done. Here we go. Yeah. Twenty twenty or twenty one. I forget. I'm toast to bread, Maury C, here we go, yeah. Bread beats, bread beats, now burning. Dead meat, all the garlic got my stomach churning. See you later, suckers, I got toast to consume. Slay you while your bread is watching, there's a ghost in the room. Bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a tomb. Villains on the rise, short of mice, high calorie doom. Surprise, mother baker's butter knives at a historical duel. A metaphorical tool to slice, God, toaster oven strapped to my back, ready to play. Attacking with my bag of baguettes, croissants in the tray. Cooking heat in the kitchen, dead beats never bitching. In the streets of Paris, France, we gon' get the sandwich and you can shut up and listen baking bread is my mission your real dad was baking scones while your fake one was fishing check the rhymes that i'm dishing though it's bad for nutrition curse the nights by the oven it ain't superstition i get bread yeah pumpernickel beats making something sweet girl's bread tastes like feet bread yeah pumpernickel beats making something sweet stream sparks on repeat bread yeah pumpernickel beats making something sweet ordering taco eats bread yeah pumpernickel beats making something sweet Woo! Why you throw in lice like lice like your boy's a pigeon left like oh my no oh my god it's not lice That's what I get for mentioning that rice looks like lice Yeah Rice looks a little bit like lice if you really think about it Here we go Bread beats, bread beats, now burning. Dead meat, all the garlic got my stomach churning. See you later, suckers, I got toast to consume. Slay you while your bread is watching, there's a ghost in the room. Bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a tomb. Villains on the rise, short of mice, high calorie doom. Surprise, mother baker's butter knives, out a historical duel, a metaphorical tool to slice. God, toaster oven, I'm strapped in my bag, ready to play. Attack him with my bag of baguettes, croissants in a tray. Cooking heat in the kitchen, dead beats, never bitching. In the streets of Paris, friends, we gon' get the sandwich and you can shut up and listen. Baking bread. Is my mission. Your real dad was baking scones while your fake one was fishing. Check the rhymes that I'm dishing. That was bad for nutrition. Cursed nights by the oven. It ain't superstition. I get bread. Yeah, pumpernickel beats. Making something sweet. Girl's bread tastes like feet bread. Yeah, pumpernickel beats. Making something sweet. Stream sparks on repeat. Bread. Yeah, pumpernickel beats. Making something sweet. Ordering taco eats bread. Yeah, pumpernickel beats. Making something sweet. Whee! 
<laughs> Why you throwing rice like your boy is a pigeon? Like your love for basmati is a goddamn religion. You're gonna fight a losing battle with the hole that you're digging. Cause the flames from my oven strike with deadly precision. Got no respect for what you're giving. So make a decision. If you aren't eating heavy carbs, why are you living? I don't F with the rice. Cause it doesn't taste nice. Not to mention that the shit is like double the price. Needing the dough that you're loving. Put your buns in the oven. Sucking juice at your rice like a vampire coven. While I'm baking bread babies, let them pop like bacon. Get your butt in the kitchen. You can see what I'm making. I get bread. Yeah, pumpernickel beets. Making something sweet. Girl's bread tastes like feet bread. Yeah, pumpernickel beets. Make us something sweet, stream sparks on repeat bread. Yeah, pumpernickel beets. Make us something sweet, ordering taco wheats bread. Yeah, pumpernickel beets. Make us something sweet. Ah! It's the bread wrap. <laughs> no bread for Ame though. Someone called a fire marshal. What do we have here? Is this maybe a banger? Gosh, you know, it really might be a banger. Let me get the whole song in here. I wonder, I'm gonna have to change the size of the font, but. Oh man, yeah, that's a real, that's a, that is, that's good. That's a great song called Untoasted Bread. Yep, there it is, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, the song is done. After many, many years, actually, you know, more than two years is kind of many, many years. I can read it. <laughs> oh, we got we got some rice dis chats that are dis super chats that are coming in. Rather bread dis super chats coming in. Now you're dissing rice put away that scythe. You couldn't harvest a whole grain to save your life. Woo, all right. Hold on, let him cook. Fry with MSG, it makes my taste buds scream. Oyster sauce, scrambled eggs. I'm living the dream. All right, maybe I ought to rethink the rice thing. I don't know. Psych! Bread's better. But nice rhymes. I just heard a masterpiece of a song and it's only February. Gonna need that April Fool's EP. Gonna need that April Fool's AP. EP. Okay, it'll be on there. That's what you guys deserve, right? I, I, wa I wanna record a legitimate version of the bread wrap. <laughs> I do want to. Mm. April Fool's EP. We might as well, right? This wrap is dry, yeah, which means good, right? How many EP when already exists? Here, I want to do one perfect run of the song, and then I'll leave it alone forever, except for when I record it for the EP and we never talk about this ever again, okay? That sound good? Yeah. Wait, hold on. What do I want to say? I need to figure out what I want to say in the beginning. We got to fit. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> 2024. Do like a little, <clears throat> like a cheeky little nod to the fact that this was written probably 2020. 2020 <clears throat> for Tansui Kabutsu. I got carbs. Yeah. 2020 <clears throat> for Tansui Kabutsu. I got carbs. What do you got? Uh, bread beats, bread beats, now burning. Dead meat, all the garlic got my stomach churning. See you later, suckers, I got toast to consume. Slay you while your bread is watching, there's a ghost in the room. Bread rising in the oven like a ghoul from a tomb. Villains on the rise, short of mines, that calorie doom. Surprise, mother bakers, butter knives, that historical duel. A metaphorical tool to slice. God, no stir oven straps on my back, ready to play. Attack him with my bag of baguettes, croissants on a tray. Cooking heat in the kitchen, dead beats, never bitching in the streets of Paris, friends. We gon' get the sandwichin'. You can shut up and listen. Baking bread is my mission Your real dad was baking scones While your fake one was fishing Check the rhymes that I'm dishing Though it's better for nutrition Cursed nights by the oven It ain't superstition I get bread Yeah Pumpernickel beats Making something sweet Girl's bread Tastes like meat Bread Yeah Pumpernickel beats Making something sweet Stream sparks on repeat Bread Yeah Pumpernickel beats Making something sweet
Tuck a sweet for the ring, taco eats bread. Yeah, puff for nickel beats, make it something sweet. Hey, why you throwing rice like your boy's a pigeon? Like your love of basmati is the goddamn religion. You're gonna fight or lose in battle with this hole that you're digging. Cause the flames from my oven strike with deadly precision. Got no respect for what you're giving. So make a decision. If you aren't eating heavy carbs, why are you living? I don't effort the rice, cause it doesn't taste nice. Not to mention that the shit is like double the price. Needing the dough that you're loving, put your buns in the oven. Sucking juice, set your rice like a vampire coven. While I'm baking bread, babies let them pop like bacon. Get your butt in the kitchen, you can see what I'm making. I can't bread! Yeah, pumpernickel beets, making something sweet. Girls' bread tastes like feet. Bread! Yeah, pumpernickel beets, making something sweet. Stream sparks on repeat. Bread! Yeah, pumpernickel beets, making something sweet. Ordering taco beets, eats bread, beets, taco beets, pumpernickel, burra, bread, feet. <laughs> That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Okay, well, I got the whole song now. Let me save it into my spiritual lyrical miracle diary. Save. On my desktop so I can see it every day. We'll call it Raps. So I know they're serious. That ending though, <laughs> pretty good. You think I have a huge forehead? Thank you, it's a sign of beauty in many places. It only took three years, it's a bread wrap. Not bad, not bad. So that's the bread wrap is done, we're finished writing it. We're finished writing it. Now, we also had a couple other things, we had a couple other songs to write, right? I think peanut butter in my bathroom sink is a great idea. I'm gonna need a metronome. Metronome. Let me figure out what the metronome would be for something like peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Thank you, everybody. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Maybe it'll be 60. 72? Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. I love PB and J's. Why was Gura catching strays today? Break out the Drano. Good idea. Not the bathtub pizza. And I have to buy some Drano. Can I get that low? I wonder. All right, let me delete the bread wrap. We're gonna do peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. My bathroom sink, bathroom sinko. It's a peanut butter and it's also in my bathroom sink. Whoa, that's pretty big. Ba peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. That's gonna be the hook. The hook says peanut butter in my bathroom sink, right? So in order to write this song, we're gonna need to think of some words that remind us of peanut butter. Usually what I'd do is I'd make like all these words, like I'd put them in a list and like make like thought bubbles and stuff like that. But thanks a lot, Biv. Yeah, I think so too. I think it'll be a really great change of pace for me. Um, in terms of, you know, from here on out, like, you know, making it in the game and whatnot. Anyway, dogs? <laughs> yeah, I mean, do they? Do they like that? Mm. Creamy or crunchy? Creamy or crunchy? I got the munchies. I won't... It, it kind of sounds a little bit like, it's kind of like Margaritaville, but like not quite. Creamy or crunchy. I got the munchies. I wanna make, I wanna make myself a, 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 a snackaroo. I, 
I my dish but that but my dishes okay forgot forgot about my dishes Forgot about my dishes. Forgot about what even freaking rhymes with dishes that I didn't do that that I didn't do that yeah it doesn't need right yeah 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 it rhymes with snackaroo <gasps> woo deadbeat that was really good okay <clears throat> creamy or crunchy I got the munchies I want to make myself a snackaroo. Ooh. Forgot about my dishes that I didn't do. Da 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 da. Ooh, I got peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. I'm gonna need some Drano. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Yeah, see, because now we got a story going, right? There's a story here. Cre creamy or crunchy. I got the munchies. Yeah, there's only one thing to do, but we already used do for, for dishes. Uh, let's see. Do snackaroo with creamy crunch. I got the munchies. I made myself a snackaroo. Forgot about my dishes that I didn't do. Um, let's see. And then, uh, there's only one place left. There, there's only, there's only, there's only one more place. There's only one more place to make, to make my, to, to make my, and then, to, to make my oh we can do a double rhyme <laughs> so excited over this there's only one more place to make my to to make my to, to make my snack to make my pbj wishes wish come true what were we even making during that stream i don't really know i gotta forget wish come true yeah here we go. Dun, da, da, dun, dun. I can imagine like an acoustic guitar. Dun, da, dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 dun, dun, da, 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 Creamy or crunchy. I got the munchies. I want to make myself a snackaroo. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Forgot about my dishes. That I didn't do. Ooh, there's only one place left. One more place to make my PBJ wish come true. It's not very great. There's only one place. There's only one more place to make my to make my PBJ wish come true. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the rock cover for this peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Oh, you're always gonna need some Drano. Need some Drano. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Room sink. Peanut butter. Bathroom sink. What rhymes with Drano? I was gonna say Mori has no braino, but that sounds like a Mori something that a Mori without a brain would come up with. Why is Tutu covered in it too? What do you No! Ghost a cat and Tutu. Oh yeah. That I didn't do. See. Hmm. Insano. No bueno. No bueno. Bathroom sink. The situations. 
The situation right here is no bueno. Let's see. There's only one place left to make to, to make a sandwich to make a sandwich to make a sandwich lover's dream come true cuz I'm a sandwich lover Yeah, cause then that leads into the wait. Why? Wait, more. Why aren't you using a, a kitchen, a kitchen sink? Why are you using bathroom sink? Spanish coming in clutch here. There we go. Making music in all different languages is technically cheating, but it's also not, and makes you seem cool. Sandwiches. We don't care about grammar here. This is all about the music. And then we have uh, verse two. Verse two. Um, let's see. Tutu or Ghost Cat. Who got the most fat? E eating the peanut butter out of the jar. I got a situation. Wait, no, we already used situation. I'm in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. You can't even eat that though? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Maybe they can't. <laughs> I don't think cats can eat peanut butter. The whole verse is just... The whole verse in the garbage. Dang it. Uh, we need a doctor. Thank <laughs> God. It was surreal. They got diarrhea. <laughs> No. Your cat eats peanut butter. Well, if your cat's still alive, then we're good to go. It was surreal. They got diarrhea. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. This this isn't even what the this isn't what it's supposed to be about. This is, <laughs> it's not about Tutu and Ghost Cat. Ah. I have to critique you better keep that in the room, but I am eating, please. See, this we have to save the deadbeats that are eating right now. Tutu diary in the bathroom sink. <laughs> Stop! Stop making me laugh. Stop making me laugh. Uh let's okay. Let's see. Um let me see where it naturally reads from singing it. Okay. Um yeah, I imagine it sounds a little bit like Margaritaville. Creamy or crunchy. I got the munchies. I want to make myself a snackaroo. Ooh, 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 yeah. Forgot about my dishes that I didn't do. There's only one place left to make a sandwich lover's dream come true. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Oh, your Maury's gonna need some Drano. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. The situation right here is no bueno. Yeah. I called the mechanic. I was all kinds of manic. I was all kinds of manic. He said, don't panic. I got, I got an easy fix on the way. A, A. <laughs> so melodramatic. <laughs> Why a mechanic when I know a plumber? Stop! No, a mechanic. Maybe that's the joke. <laughs> Frankly, I can't help you. Okay. 
There's all kinds of men. <laughs> he said don't panic, but frankly, I cannot help you. Ooh, ooh. I called up a plumber. <laughs> I called up a plumber. Or he's gotten much dumber. Wait, it's a bu- <laughs> it's a bu- okay. All right. God, it's such a bummer. <sighs> he said, oh, maybe the plumber's a, a cute girl. She said, that's a bummer. She said, that's a bummer. That's, that's a bummer. Um, that, that's a bummer. She said, that's a bummer. Um, let's see, that's... <laughs> uh, is she single? I don't know! We have to get something that rhymes with you now. Um, maybe clue, like I don't have a clue. Let's see, um... Let's see. Tutu, tutu, that's a bummer! Let's see. Um, let's see. Tutu. I really want to include Tutu. The actual doo doo. Yeah. She said that's a bummer. She couldn't get here. She couldn't get to the sink before Tutu. Oh no! Cat poop all up in my bathroom sink. Cat poop all up in my bathroom sink. Cat poop all up in my bathroom sink. Thank God I cleaned it out. We can get back to my peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Just <laughs> taking a dark doo doo in the bathroom sink. God, I finished. <laughs> Why can't it just be the Roomba? Now Tutu's catching strays. Wasn't this gross before? <laughs> yeah, it was a little, a little different. Let's see. Um. Mm hmm. I don't think this can stay, but it's kind of fun to imagine that Tutu went and ate the peanut butter, and then she just she couldn't control herself. She had to let go. <laughs> Not the poor. <laughs> Room buff, like the turns out of the way. No, stop, you guys. Dang. Okay, all right. I know I brought this grossness upon us, but god dang. Is it fun, though? It is probably fun. It's a bummer. Good thing I've got a little advice for you. No, that rhymes with you already. What what should I do for you? Tutu, the sky is blue. Pirate crew. Boo! Ghost cat says boo. A thing or two. Yeah, it became a literal shit post now. She said, she said, that's a bummer. Hmm. Let's see. That's a bummer. Wait, hold on a second, hold on. Went back to the sink and the problem 
had grew. Yeah. Actually, it should be the problem had grown. <laughs> a peanut butter in my bathroom sink. A peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my ba bathroom sink. Oh, and the problem just just grew. I'm not at it. So that was smart. Yeah, I thought of that myself. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. I think a wayward soul. Um, what's it called? Possessed, po possessed the peanut butter, and now it's a monster. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. In my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. I've called a mechanic a plumber, and now I need an exorcist. Awesome. That's how you spell exorcist, right? Wait. Nice. And they're all cute girls. Yeah, including the mechanic, actually. I want the mechanic to be a cute girl, too. They're all adorable lady skeletons. You really are showing your versatility. Thank you. Yeah, I think that this is very much like, um... Yeah, you know, it's it's definitely like an acquired taste kind of piece, but but you know, there's a story here and and I think it's good. Cri Hold on. Huh. I get, get all their Yeah, maybe that's how the story ends. I just get all the numbers of these really cute skeleton ladies that are helping me get peanut butter out of my bathroom sink. It's perfect. Da 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 da. Da 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 dum dum dum. Da 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 dum dum. Dum dum dum. Yeah. Creamy or crunchy. I got the munchies. I wanna make myself a snackaroo. Yeah, yeah. Forgot about my dishes. That I didn't do. There's only one place left to make a sandwich lover's dream come true. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Oh, your Maury's gonna need some Drano. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. The situation right here is no bueno. I called the mechanic. I was all kinds of manic. She said, don't panic, but frankly, I cannot help you because I'm a freaking mechanic, not a plumber. I called up a plumber. She said, that's a bummer. Went back to the sink and the problem just grew. Yeah, yeah. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. I think a wayward soul possessed the peanut butter and now it's a monster. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. I've called a mechanic, a plumber, and now I need an exorcist. Are you using a metronome? Yeah, it's so I can keep track of everything. Anyway, I missed the BGM. I'm putting the BGM back on. But yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good, right? I swear, Mori, if this shows up in my dream, I hope it does. I hope it infiltrates your dreams and stays there. That would be good. That's a good thing. That's something that we want. Oh, we want that. What are you talking about? Boink. Boink. How did the peanut butter end up in the kitchen sink? Well, technically, I already I already said how the peanut butter is ending up. Oh, this is an old chat. Okay, never mind. 
stuck in your head already. Maybe with maybe end with hoping the exorcist is cute too. Yeah, verse three is like a bit of a different melody. It's like, ooh, ooh, but you know it's not all that bad. But you know it's not all that bad. This is the this is the most action that your boy has ever had. Someone just did a ding dong. Maybe it's ah! My keyboard fell to the ground. The plumber might be here. BRB. I don't know who that was. They went away. Oh, but you know it's not all that bad. This is the most action that your boy has ever had. My keyboard's still on the ground, okay. The escape key has already popped off the keyboard. Oh boy. Oh, this is really bad. I really need to fix- I need a new keyboard. I need a new drawer. It's kind of sad. Has ever had. Dropping pens is a lot cheaper. True enough. That your boy has ever had. It's not all that bad. This is the most action that your boy has ever had. Three cute girls all at my house. Well, it fits the Valentine's Day theme. I'm feeling glad. <laughs> Feeling glad. Three cute girls all at my house. Trying to get the peanut butter out. Yeah, yeah. Valentine's Day is over where you live. Well, same for me, but we can still celebrate. This is the best Valentine's ever, writing fantastic, wonderful songs with you guys. It's a celebration. Oh yeah, and it's almost time for unarchived karaoke, dang. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should do this more often. I should do this more often. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, 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 woo, 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 woo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. All right, now it's time for a little acapella. Performance of peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Here we go. Da 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 da. 
da 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 Creamy or crunchy, I got the munchies. I wanna make myself a snackaroo. Ooh, yeah. Forgot about my dishes that I didn't do. There's only one place left to make a sandwich lover's dream come true. Yeah, peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Oh, your Mari's gonna need some Drano. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. The situation right here is no bueno. I called the mechanic. I was all kinds of manic. She said, don't panic, but frankly, I cannot help you, because I'm not a freaking plumber, idiot. I called up a plumber. She said, that's a bummer. Went back to the sink, and the problem just grew, yeah, yeah. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. I think a wayward soul possessed the peanut butter and now it's a monster. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. I've called a mechanic, a plumber, and now I need an exorcist. Oh, but you know it's not all that bad. Yeah, yeah. This is the most action that your boy has ever had. Three cute girls all at my house. Trying to get the peanut butter out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I should do this more often. Woo That's the end. Thank you. Take some bow. <laughs> Mori often. I should do this Mori often. Oh, pachi, 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 pachi. That was Peanut Butter in My Bathroom Sink by Mori Calliope. Another smash hit. Only hits today, really. No misses. Not a single miss. So far. So far. But you know, we still have a couple other things to write. Like, I'm supposed to write uh, I'm supposed to write a rap about cats, and then that demon is on his way to write a freaking rap about cats that I'm very afraid to hear what he has to say. I don't think we're gonna lie. I don't think it's gonna be good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm afraid of it. I wonder if there's like a beatbox kind of beat somewhere. You know, just like a simple little beatbox, you know? Simple little boom ch boom ba boom ch boom ch boom ba boom ch kind of thing. You have enough time? Maybe. Hmm. I wonder if I could just boom ch boom ba boom ch. Maybe we. You know what? We can just make it real, real freestyle like. You know, like we're actually at a real freestyle rap battle. We don't need a back a backing track. It just kind of wa washes out the feel of like a a real. I don't have the rights to use other tracks, so this is what we're doing. Reaper cut rapper. I wonder if I even have. Do I even have that instrumental? I think I do. I do. Play it. Boom ba boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my God! What a blast to the past! Yeah, I love cats. Ah, but we got the moe as fuck in the background. Uh huh. Boom, 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 clap. 
I wish I had a boom boom clap boom ba boom clap version that wasn't the live instrumental. Boom ch boom ba boom ch boom ch. That could apply to cats too. <laughs> if you say so. Well, for now, here, let me see. I'm gonna change to, what's a different one that I wanna listen to? Yeah, this is good. Uh, let's see, so if we are gonna, so we we do, we wanna write a song about key cats, right? It's Maury's Cat Rap. This needs to be pretty fire. Cat Rap by Maury. Cause we can't let Calvin beat us. We can't let him beat us. Cause he, you know he's gonna want to. Right? Prank! The song that's full of pranks. I love it. Mmm. I'm all hydrated. All right. Now, I'm gonna write kitty cat rap. Kitty, 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 kitty cat rap. All I remember is that we had the one part about the British, the British cats and bowler hats. That was really important, right? To write a cat rap. But what's like the overarching theme? British cats in bowler hats. Nibbling on your toes till they get real fat. Okay, that, that seems like it'll be good for later. Um, what do we start off with? Prank mew, prank, prank meow. Here, kitty, kitty. That sounds, that makes me feel uncomfortable. We won't do the... <laughs> uh, let's, all right, pass on that one. All right. <laughs> That uh, makes me feel feel uncomfortable. <laughs> stop, chat! Stop! Stop! Let's see. Um. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. I got this. I'm. I can feel the rhyme cooking. Okay. Feline, feline, and rhyme. They, they rhyme with each other, so. MC22. MC22 on the set with some rhymes about all her fellow, all her fellow kitty cat, kitty cats, kitty cats and other felines. Yeah, felines. Woo! -hoo. Fire, we're making it out of the toaster with this one. Lunch with Maury over lunch with Jay-Z. What an honor. Oh, my felines. Um, let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This could be good. Okay, hold on a sec. We're on the feline, we're on this feline tangent, right? So let's do, let's do, um, about all her fellow kitty cats and other felines. She's not like the others with her curious mind. It's becoming a tutu rap now. With her curious mind. Um,. Jumping on the curtains, looking sleek and refined. Not like the other cats, tee hee. She's not like the other kitty cat girls. Hmm. She's like a little lion. Mommy's never gonna catch me. Never gonna catch me on top, the AC. Sleeping seven. Mommy's never gonna catch me on top, the AC. Sleeping 17 hours a day, cause I'm lazy. God, I love cats. I love how lazy they are. Beastie Boys style. <laughs> Yeah! 
How is there snow and fire at the same time? Shh, 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 shh. The snow is the only reason that the fire doesn't burn my home. Aw, no beastie boys. You don't like the beastie boys! A blast of the past. Oh god, it's a Roomba. <laughs> Some lazy. Got no enemies. Enemies except for the Roomba. Nothing rhymes with Roomba, Deadbeats! Does anything rhyme with Roomba? <laughs> Only <laughs> Goomba. Except for the Roomba. Goomba works. Kobo doesn't scare me. And I really love Goomba. I'm just Tutu now, I guess this is just a Tutu rap. Wait, okay, hold on. Is this is this by Tutu or is this by me? Because we're switching between third between third person and first person in the middle of the song. <laughs> Alright. Both! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just change it to two. Rap in two styles. <laughs> it's getting confusing for the listener. MC Tutu on the set with some rhymes about all my fellow kitty cats and other felines. I'm not like the others with my curious mind. With my curious mind, jumping. I'm jumping on the cur jumping on the curtains, looking sleek and refined. My curious mind, jumping on the curtains, looking sleek and refined. Mommy's never gonna catch me on top of the AC, sleeping 17 hours a day, cause I'm lazy. Got no enemies except for the Roomba. Kobo doesn't scare me, and I really love Goomba! It's two two chains. I don't think two chains sounds uh anything like that. But but two two chains maybe is you know going in a different direction. Ghost Cat verse next. Alright, here's Ghost Cat. Ghost Cat jumps on the mic and he's a scaredy cat. MC Scaredy Cat. Ghosty's the name. Ghosty's the name. Only thing I need in life. In life. Is catnip. It's catnip and fame. Let's see. Well, what else is Ghost Cat like? I'ma attack mom. I'ma attack mommy's legs when she walks to the kitchen. We already used a lot of the kitchen rhymes today in the the bread wrap though. Is mommy's legs when she walks to the fridge? H hiding up it, hi hiding up inside the, hiding up inside her, her coat. I'ma tackle that bitch. I'm gonna tackle that <laughs> This is what he does. He waits under my coat. Cause I have my coat draped over like a a chair pushed into the, the dining room table. And what he does is he hides he hides behind the 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 coat. He hides behind the coat and then waits for me to walk by and then tackles my legs. <laughs> Good. And then I go, stop, because he uses his claws. Mm. Is she going for the treats? Is she reaching? for a toy. All that matters is I... All that matters is... Maybe we should say something about the litter box. Because the litter box is very important to him. All that matters is I got... Is I got... 
All that matters is, let's see. I just want a fr I just I just want a fresh I just want I just want a fresh clean litter box to enjoy. Rolling around left to right. Till I'm covered in dust. Then I rub, then I'm rubbing, then I rub up on my owner. Cause affection's a must. My cats know how to be affectionate. Get those treats. Here we go. MC22 on the set with some rhymes about all my fellow kitty cats and other few lines. I'm not like the others with my curious mind. Jumping on the curtains, looking sleek and refined. Mommy's never gonna catch me on top the AC. Sleeping 17 hours a day, cause I'm lazy. Got no enemies. Ex go pause, you gotta pause. Pause, there's a beat there. MC22 on the set with some rhymes about all my fellow kitty cats and other felines. I'm not like the others with my curious mind. Jumping on the curtains looking sleek and refined. Mommy's never gonna catch me on top the AC. Sleeping 17 hours a day cause I'm lazy. Got no enemies except for the Roomba. Kobo doesn't scare me and I really love Goomba. MC scaredy cat, ghosty's the name. Only thing I need in life is catnip and fame. I'ma tack mommy's legs when she walks to the fridge. Hiding up inside her coat, I'ma tackle that that is she going for the trees? Is she reaching for a toy? I just want a fresh, clean litter box to enjoy. Rolling around le left to right till I'm covered in dust. Then I rub up on my owner because affection's a must. Brink! Yeah, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Why is Tutu on top of an armored core? I want to see fan art of Tutu on top of an armored core now. I'm curious. Sounds like the Fresh Prince rap. <laughs> That's my cat rap. I wonder how Calvin's is gonna- I'm kind of scared to pass the mic to him, though, to be honest. What about beheading <laughs> The gin beheadings will not be mentioned in this rap. Why not use mother over owner? I don't like the way that rubbing up on mommy sounds. It makes me feel strange and not good. Let him cook. I'm afraid of what he has to say. <laughs> There's no... Wait, what about the British bowler... The British cats in bowler hats nibble until they get real fat. All right, I'll give it to Calvin to use, I guess. Strange in a good way? No, strange in a bad way rubbing up on mommy. Ooh. That makes me feel bad, Deadbeat. I don't like how that sounds. How generous of you. Just trying to help him out, I guess. All right, Calvin, I guess you can take it away. God, that guy makes me so mad. All right, no, it's fine. Um, and then at the end of all of this, I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna give that preview, right? The little art preview of the next cover that I'm releasing, which will be out in like, I think just a few days maybe, but I wanted to keep it as low key and secret as possible. Cause I really kind of, I don't know. I like it a lot. It's not, um, how do I say? It's not, like a, a really like big hype popular song, but I, I love the song and I like how I sound on it. So I hope you guys will like it. Yeah, I guess I'll, guess I'll go take a break now. S sorry in advance, sorry. Yo, yo, what is up that it's a, 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 a. It's been a little minute since I've seen you guys. Been a little minute since I've seen you guys. I just want a little chicken sandwich with fries. I just want a little chicken sandwich with fries. What's going on, Brock? Hey, it's your boy Calvin. You guys like my kitty cat sweater? 
I thought it really fit the occasion. What do you think? Extra mayo? No mayo! I hate the mayo. Leave the mayo out. Leave it out. Leave it. You guys like it? Oh, look at this little kitty cat on a burger. Real nice sweater, honestly. I, really, I thought it would be perfect for the occasion. All right, are you ready for this cat? Right. Now you see, Mor Morris. 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 <laughs> Calliope Mori. If you ask me, I think she plays it a little too safe. You see, there were so many different opportunities to make something really fire, and she chose the safe route. But don't worry, Debbies, because when it comes to me, you never have to worry about that. You never have to worry about me choosing the safe route. It's never gonna happen. Never. No, that's right. You know why, Debbies? Because we take risks. We take risks over here, yeah. Risks. You guys like risks? Maybe some of you don't. All right, well, this still is Maury's channel, so we can't get too crazy. We can't get too, 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 and ghost cat crazy. But... I guarantee you that my rap will be better than hers. Here we go, Calvin. Cat rap. Calvin cat rap. Better than Maury's. Because you know I gotta be comp real competitive, you know? Real, really competitive. I gotta compete with her. So the name of this song, you know, no, actually, hold on. This is kind of silly as a name. This isn't the name of the rap. Don't get it twisted. So the name of this rap is called We, We Get Pussy. Like Pussycat, right? All right, got it? This isn't like uh this isn't like, here, I need to put like a kitty cat, like a cat, a cat, a little cat emote. There we go. All right, we get pussy, see, all right, so you know that it's about pussy cats, right? You know it's about pussy cats. Cats, don't, don't get it twisted. This is the cat rap, okay? Any little children that are afraid of, you know, pussy cats, get, get out. Get out of here. El gato. El gatito. All right. So the first lyric that we're going to do here, all right, so let's see. I get pussy because I know what cat th what cats think. I get I get pussy because I know what cats think. All right, great. Um, I get I get I get, I get pussy. Get it? In case anybody didn't get that, it, it's like a, it's like a double meaning kind of thing. It's like get it, haha. <laughs> to to head pedal, wink, wink. Wink. Because wink rhymes with think, right? It's pretty good. You, you get it? See, <laughs> I knew it. I knew there'd be some Debbies to get it. I knew I, knew I wasn't losing my, my gosh dang mind. My gosh dang mind. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, I said gosh. So I'm trying to be, you know, real PG right here. PG, not PG-13. Just, you know, PG. And it's still PG because, you know, pussy is like pussy cat. You know, that's what you call cat. Anyway. But like, you know, for the adults, it's kind of like Spongebob, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, like you get it. But if you're a child, you don't get it. Trick had some of that too. Anyway, Neko's bumping to my shit. Yeah, yeah, Neko's a bump into my shit. Rock my kitty sweater fit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because I'm wearing a kitty cat sweater right now. Yeah. Yeah, rock my kitty sweater fit. And then maybe we should have something that rhymes with, with wink. Right, like, 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 dink, like, brink, pink, pink. I'm pink. I don't think we're getting out of the litter box with this one. Let me cook. I'm not done yet. All right, I'm not done. Oh, you know, kink could be good. Peanut butter in my bathroom sink. I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of a banger to be honest. And I kind of like that one. Let's see. If I want, I know. If I want. If I want, if I want the pussy, I'm gonna get a drink. No, that's gonna get me banned. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I mean, imagine me and the cats going up to the little, you know, water river, water river bowl, water bowl, water bowl thing, right? Getting a drink together. I'm just, I'm just saying. I just, I think it's pretty good. I just don't, I just don't want to get banned, you know, because people don't understand me. People don't really get my vision. And that's, that's problematic for me, so I have to be careful. Um, let's see. Rock my kitty sweater fit. Rock my kitty sweater fit. Coward. I'm not a coward! 
See, because if I censor the word, right, if I censor the P word right here, then that's not, that's like admitted, admitting myself into the, into jail. You know, I'm turning myself in, confessing to my sins. I haven't done any sins. Cat nipping my drink. Yeah, I rock my kitty sweater fit. With, with the 40, with the 40, No. I like the catnip drink thing, that's pretty good. The cops, the cops ain't seen, but I got catnip in my drink. I get pussy cause I know what cats think. Wait, hold, I know, I know, I, I, I know what cats think. I get pussy cause I know what cats think, yeah. I get pussy, get a damn pet a wink, yeah. Neck was bumping to my shit, rub my kitty sweater fit. The cops ain't seen, but I got catnip in my drink, uh. It's pretty good. The, 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 the syllables look a little bit off. Cause I know what cats think. I get pussy, get a damn pet a wink. Neck was bumping my shit, rub my kitty sweater fit. The cops ain't seen, but I got catnip in my drink. All right, yeah, <laughs> let's go, let's go. All right, I think we're already on a way better track to be Mori for this one. Let's go. Um, let's see. Chilling on the cat tree. Chilling on the cat tree, bundles of joy. Soft fur, loud purr, staring straight at your boy. Yeah. Soft fur, soft purr. You know, soft fur, loud purr. Staring straight at your boy. <laughs> yeah, now that sounded good. Ugh. Go! Now let's meow to the skate rink. Who let him cook? Mori did. If you don't like it, you can complain to her. Go well, straight at. You heard straight as. I mean, I mean, I don't see what the problem is. Both, both are correct. Both are correct. Master Chef over here. Mr. Cooking Rhymes in the kitchen. What can I say? What can I say? I'm feeling kind of rich. Give a fuck. Give a fuck. A fuck. A fluff. I got you. About a bitch. Because that's like a dog, right? Like a dog. A female dog is a... Is a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We saved it, we saved it. There's my boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sounding good. I'm feeling kind of rich. Give a bluff about a bitch. Don't, don't get mad, don't get mad. Everything's fine. I'ma go... Go and buy my pussy. A toy. You know, like you get something for your cats, like a little like crinkle toy, a little, like a little cash 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 ball. Like a little mouse you can throw around on the ground and go bop, bop, bop. they bat that shit. Bat it around. You know, a little cash cash ball. A little catnip in a catnip on a mouse kind of thing, you know? Inside a mouse there's like catnip. Yeah. See, cause, cause you know. Cause you know that it's 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 cat. This is cat. There's a guy in the background that goes, cat, you know, just, just so we're really careful. <laughs> but you see what I'm doing, right? <laughs> Sorry. You see, they get it, they get it. Cats from the alley are my favorite crew. My favorite crew. Alley cat's the best kind of cat. Strutting cool through the streets on the night they debut. Yeah. Whoa, where did that come from? Oh, that was good. Wow, that just flew, that just flew out of me. I can't believe I came up with that. Strutting straight through. Strutting straight through the streets. On the night they debut, lyrical genius. You know it. Tearing up the rats with the paw and the gat. Yeah. Yeah, because rat rhymes with gat. Tearing up, 
tearing up the rats with the palm of God. <laughs> it's a paw on the gat. British cats and bowler hats. In bowler hats. And the, the more he said nibbling on your toes till they get real fat. Till, till, till they get real fat. Given good kitty, you know, like like scratches. That's what they call them when like you give like a cat a scratch, but like it's different than a regular scratch. It's a scritch, you know. It's like slightly different. Given good kitty scratches. I know we already used the b word, but I, I feel like it'd be a great opportunity to arrive scratches with just, you know. Given good kitty scratches. They can call us pussy bitches. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. 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 But like that, it's ironic. It's ironic. It's ironic because if you were if you were a pussy bitch, that would be like like cat and dog. You know, cats versus dog. In the streets with the, with the strays, in the streets with the strays, with the strays, we don't, we don't fluff the snitches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're gonna get stitches. Yeah, cooking with extra spice. It's not a weird rabbit. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. Getting treats. Treats for days. Treats for days. Treats for days. Treats for days. I'm possum. Yeah. I'm possum. That's the hook. Just repeat it over and over and over again. Everybody else does it. Everybody else does it. They repeat the same thing over and over and over again in the hook. That's it. Finished? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I cooked. I'm finished. This is my masterpiece. We will, we will call the fireman. 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 Is it a mumble? I can make it a mumble if you want me to. Three flames out of ten. Only three flames? You kidding me? This is a masterpiece. All right, here's my cat rap. Oh, uh, it's called We Get Pussy. Oh, uh, yeah, I get pussy cause I know what cats think. I get pussy, get it to head pedal wig, neck goes bumping to my shit, right my kitty sweater fit. The cops ain't seen, but I got catnip in my drink. Chillin' on the cat tree, bundles of joy. Soft fur, loud purr, staring straight at your boy. I'm feeling kinda rich, give a fluff about it. Dang, I didn't prepare the button. I had to prepare the button! Russ Moore is gonna be mad at me. Sorry. Here I go. Alright, 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 yeah! Mr. Boy Calvin, dropping some heat. We get pussy. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah. I get pussy cause I know what cats think, yeah. I get pussy, get it to head pet a wink, I'm off beat. Bump. I get pussy cause I know what cats think, uh. I get pussy, get it to head pet a wink, yeah. Necklace bump to my shit, rock my kitty sweater fit. The cops ain't seen, but I got catnip in my drink, uh. Chillin' on the cat tree, bundles of joy. Soft fur, loud purr, staring straight at your boy. I'm feeling kinda rich, give a fluff about a I'm a goin' by my pussy a toy. Ha ha, cats from the alley are my favorite. Strutting cool through the streets on the night the dip. Wait, my favorite crew. My favorite crew. I fucked up. I mean, I effed up. Sorry, I used the F word. Please don't, don't never let me on your channel again. I beg. I beg. Please wait. No, it's just a simple mistake. A simple mistake. 
I gotta read better. Here I go. Let me try again. Stay on beat this time, C-Man. Stay on beat this time. You wanna get a record deal, you gotta step up your game. UM, I'm looking at you, UMJ. Hey, 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 UMJ. UMJ, what's going on? I know you guys like me a lot. <laughs> here's, here's my brand new song. I get pussy cause I know a gas thing, uh I get pussy, get a tad better wink Nickels bump into my shit, rub my kitty sweater fit The cops ain't seen, but I got catnip in my drink, uh Chillin' on the cat tree, bundles of joy Soft fur, loud purr, staring straight at your boy I'm feeling kinda rich, give a fluff about a I'ma go and buy my pussy a toy Woohoo, gas from the alley All my favorite crew Strutting cool through the streets on the night they debut Tearing up the rats with the paw on the gat British cats in baller hats Nibbling on your toes till they get real fat Giving good kitty scritches They can all us push the down the streets With the strays, we don't float for snitches I paw some men, I get for day. We don't know if that makes it sound like it's bad. I get possum and I get pussy. Wait, no, I get possums and I am pussy for days. I get, I am possum and I got pussy for days. Possum and I got pussy for days. I'm possum and I got pussy for days. That's where the beat drops and it gets kind of crazy. Anyway, I'm finished. This is my cat rap. Hope you liked it. I can see that I still got some haters in chat. That's fine. You know what? You know what? I've done plenty to prove myself to you. Suck on it. Suck. It's my magnum opus. Doesn't get much better than this, Deadbeats. Doesn't get much better than this. C-Man's gonna be everywhere, you'll see. Peace. Bye. Calvin out. C-Man out. Gotta go back to the studio, record my new EP. Peace. Was definitely something that just happened I mean he's kind of an uncontrollable force of nature get this off the screen I don't want people to think that I wrote that garbage what what does he think he's doing what does he think he's doing <sighs> bring him back never maybe next year do not pass Calvin the blunt anymore. <laughs> well, blunt. Being silly. Garbage, that was a masterpiece. Well, everyone's gonna have their own opinions on Calvin's rap. I will keep mine to myself for now, except I did kind of just say get this garbage off my screen, but I will keep most of them to myself for now. Good for him. Good for him. I really should not be offering my stream to him to, like, make it into a platform, but... What can I say? I wanted to, you know, I thought that there would be some people that would maybe would want to, you know, hear some of that. And, and that is only because I see them in the chat every once in a while. Calvin, he has his fair share of fans and haters. Just like any other famous person in the world. Which I think makes him very happy. <laughs> but it was, it was a fine enough goal. It was a fine enough goal to help reach, reach our goal for cats, saving money for strays. So you know what? We take those. We take those. And I have chocolate for you guys. I'll give it to you finally, I think. I should be able to. And thank you very much to Bibu as well for the very sweet Valentine. I wonder why, out of all of them that she did, why does she include my feet? I don't think any of the others had like this like half body on the one corner and then my feet on the other corner. But I don't really, I don't know. 
Seems kind of strange. Can I? Am I able to give this chocolate? Let's see. Give a present. It works! Let me do it again. Hold on. Something for you. <laughs> it's for you! Happy Valentine's! Happy Valentine's, everyone. I should read some super chats before we go and sing for a little bit. Let me see if I can, if I can speed through them. Speed through those supas. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, who did send some to me. I really appreciate it. That was very sweet of you. A little Valentine sweetness from you guys. Thank you. Even though we were just memeing today. This is just a little, little meme stream, whatever. The meme stream. <laughs> Where's the Nezumori cat wrap? I feel like it's better that we keep her away for everyone's, everyone's sake. Here, look, take it. Take your chocolate. Dang it. Take it away from me! Congrats on the charity, happy Valentine's. Thank you. We got a big ups to Lemonator. Thank you for wishing a wonderful day. Marcus Mines says thank you very much for the cheers and the support. Thank you to Anipfon3 and Labbit big ups. Henry Solstice, thank you. A big ups too. Oh you! Thank you so much. Vampiric Otaku, thank you so much. Made Cali, alright, I'll have Oma rice and written out a hot mess instead of ketchup. Let's use Valentino hot sauce because I want to suffer. It's interesting you say that, Vampiric Otaku, because actually I do have like a little like made ASMR too stream planned. Those are always pretty more like I think comedic funny than anything than like Doki Doki. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to actually get like an omelet, like a blank omelet made so that I can like write on it in ketchup. Uh, for people that that super chat, I guess, but I'm, I'm deciding about it. Maybe we won't do super chats. Maybe we'll just do people that request in chat. That might be nice, but I thought that would be cute. Or maybe we will do supas. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Because if we just did chat, then I might do like a gazillion. And it'll be kind of hard to keep track of. Anyway, it'll be, it'll be fun. When was the first one? It's definitely in there in my catalog, if you look. Thank you very much again to Vampiric Otaku. Appreciate it. Good Smile used one of your photos for their V-Day contest thing. If you want to check it out, it's on their page, hashtag HumbleBrag. Thank you for letting me know. I am really curious. Thank you, Good Smile. Yatta. He's in me. I'm happy. Asasa Sas, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Queen wrote two songs dedicated to their cats. Where's the Tutu and Ghost Cat song, I wonder? That's so sweet. I need to go listen to those songs first. Then maybe I can figure out how to approach it, you know? Thank you very much, too. Prenny's Rock, let's go. Three years, and now you're gold! Congrats! Congrats on the three-year golden skull! Even after three years and all the success, you're still that genuine person that you subscribed to back then. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you smash more goals like you did with the charity. Keep flying my Oshi. Thank you so much, Prinny's Rock! <laughs> Thank you so much! I really, 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 really appreciate it. It seriously means a lot to me. Thank you! Thank you! Ah. Sometimes I wonder, like... You know... I've been smashing a lot of goals, but I hope I'm not changing too much, you know, like in a bad way. Because I'm definitely trying to improve, but sometimes I wonder, like, I'm very different from how I used to be in the past. And I hope that it's in a good way because it can be hard to, to figure out and navigate sometimes. But the, for those of you that have stayed for a really long time, it means a lot to me that you, like, have, have just stuck around through all of it. Really, thank you so much. Thank you. I'll keep working hard to smash more goals. Look forward to it, okay? Thank you very much, too. Michael C. for the congratulation. I really, really appreciate that as well. In your currency, I raised nearly 1,000... or Sorry, 160,000. So it's not a small amount of money by any stretch. Thank you so much, Michael C. Yeah, about a about 100,000 USD, which I never dreamed I'd be able to reach, but, but I'm so glad that we did. Thank you so much for helping everyone. We could not have done it without you guys' support, seriously. Now it feels like this this amazing thing I'll always look back on in my career, I think. A big ups to Flora Jean. Thank you so much for the very sweet message filled, filled with sugary sweetness. It's very kind. All your messages are, though, Flora Jean. I really appreciate them. Thank you so much, too. Who's this? Mr. Whoa, who was that? Oh my god, I felt the spirit of Calvin was possessing me again. Mystery Manism! Ah, thank you so much for the red super chat, Mystery Manism. 
Been close to a year since I had time to catch a stream live, but I'm glad I can tonight. In celebration of leaving your current job, you've got a three week trip to Japan coming up. Any suggestions for things to do or check it out? It'll be your first time there. Oh, wonderful. Well, don't just eat at fast food McDonald's places because they have menus you can point at. Because no matter what, they will try and like, you know, help you out. Even if you go to like the most Japanese restaurant of Japanese, they'll try to give you like pictures or something like that. They'll try to communicate with you um, in Tokyo as well. So don't worry about that. It's not worth it missing out on all the incredible Japanese food that's there. So make sure you do that. Sometimes it's fun to just jump in, like dive into random restaurants, figure out what the, the katakana for ramen is so that you can get yourself some ramen. Cause you'll see those shops everywhere with like the word ramen written in katakana and you can be like, oh yeah, that's a, that's a ramen shop. But I mean, I guess Google Maps is probably your best friend when it comes to finding places to eat. Definitely check out Tokyo Tower cause everyone has to check out Tokyo Tower and Skytree if you have time, that would be great. What else would be good? Hmm, 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 Cause you're gonna be in Tokyo. Those are my main suggestions for people that haven't been before. And then Akihabara has all things, a ton of otaku things there and especially a lot of Hololive these days. Any Hololive goods that you might be looking for, if you're searching for a specific Nendo, you can probably go find it there if you spend all day looking around in Akihabara. So yeah. Ambassador mode activated. Have fun, mystery manism. Thank you so much to PK5. I or here's a celebratory pinky to match your hair. I love pink. Just like my hair. I love pink and red, but, but pink is also wonderful. They're wonderful Valentine's colors, actually. Thank you so much to Flora Jean. Congrats again on reaching your goal. Billions of kittens all around the world. Probably very proud of you. I hope so. A big ups to 6S. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> cute, cute. Let's see, what is this? Is this your Valentine to me? You are so sick. When I even just lay my eyes on you, I'm I'm coughing. <laughs> I get it. It's funny on two different levels. Thank you, 6S. And thank you to Gargoyle as well for the happy birthday message. Thank you to, uh, not happy birthday, what? Happy Valentine's, it's not my birthday. But it'll be a birthday in two months. Oh, now the debuts are gonna pretend it's my birthday. Thank you very much to Kirby Superfan. Happy Valentine's Day, Moe P. Thank you to Shiodin for the raid. Biggest of ups to her. Stop with the happy birthday already at start, and I knew it. I know how you guys tease by this point. Predictable. Look at him go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my butt. A big ups too. Yeah, Shiodin for the raid. And then Michael H. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And a big ups to King Kazuma. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you as well. I just want to say how incredibly grateful I am to have found you. You continue to be the most entertaining content creator I have the joy of watching and listening to. That's really high praise, to be honest. <laughs> These days, I'm trying to like, you know, write down notes every day of how I think I could be more entertaining, but I also don't want to go into the territory of being over-exaggerating to be sensational kind of thing, because that's just not really my style, number one. And number two, I don't really enjoy that kind of content. I did when I was younger, but I'm trying to take notes on, all right, here's what I should do, here's what I should try, etc. I'm trying to be balanced, so that really means a lot to me you say that, King Cosmo. Thank you. Thank you for being the best Grim Reaper ever. Proud to be a golden deadbeat. Thank you for being a golden deadbeat. A big ups to Sensor Duck. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And a big ups to Ame Lila. Thank you. Road Forks You. Thank you very much. And a big ups to Aunt Brunny 18 k Thank you. Thank you. Aw, so sweet. I'll be everybody's Valentine today. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Look, I gave you chocolate, didn't I? Accept it, dummy. I'll prank it right at you. Ada beat. Prank. Thank you so much. I actually also I need <laughs> I need to to make you guys aware of this certain thing. This little. I feel like everybody else is doing it, so I really should do it as well. But guys, guess what? There's Valentine's Day merch. Yes, I know. More merch, Mori. I I just donated a ton of money to cats. If that's the case, do not worry about it. Do not even worry. But, but, because I am doing a Valentine's Day stream, I figure here it is. Let's go. Oh, thank you very much for the, for the raid. Rima raid, but manual. That's very kind. Thank you, everybody, for coming over. And thank you, Rima, for redirecting to me. Wow, thank you. I wasn't just shilling merch, I promise. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I swear I wasn't just shilling merch. I promise we were we were writing terrible, <laughs> wonderful rap music. Woo, <laughs> bars, wordsmith rhymes. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> anyway. Jill and Merch. Jill and Merch. I'm Jill and Merch. Just for now, just for now. It's not my birthday. Don't tell him it's my birthday. Stop. It's Valentine's. Enough. Enough. Anyway. You missed this, the sea man. No one needs to see the sea man. Look, there's Mori stuff. If you guys want. Acrylic block charm. Wow, so cute. There's also a special bonus letter. And there's an emblem. An embroidery emblem badge. And then embroidery towel for myth. You guys should get the myth ones. They're very sweet. But if you like the others as well, you should grab theirs too. Collect all of them. Collect them all. Oh uh, yeah, check out the link in the description. I really love my art for this. My little top hat. Isn't it sweet? So that's the Mori merch. Just wanted to let you know that it's happening, but if you've got multiple Oshis, check it. Everyone looks cute. Everybody. Congrats on the successful charity stream. Thank you. Yeah, no, it was, we completely smashed the goal and then we smashed the stretch goal and then we smashed the, the stretch goal number two. So that was really nice. And it's, it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much. Um, anyway, Valentine's merch shill over for now. I'll probably mention it again for the unarchived karaoke. There's new whole live English starter merch too. There is there is starter merch actually as well, which is super fun. <laughs> Bankrupt speed run. Chadcast poppy playtime was fun, right? I want to do it again, but I don't know how busy Iris will be. But Bay and I are definitely going to keep playing Chapter Two together, so look forward to it. We've got a big ups to Nick Brown, thank you. Diego Armando, thank you. The Rocker Reaper, thank you so much for the pinky. Maury, happy Valentine's Day. Where are my chocolates? I just gave them to you. I'll give them to you again. All right, Deadbeat. Be sure to grab them this time, okay? Boink! Grab it, grab it, grab it. What are you doing? <laughs> thank you. We've got a big ups to Yueka. Thank you so much for the congrats. And a big ups to our boy shrugging emoji for the red super chat thank you so much our boy shrugging emoji dad why are you like this keep it up heart heart happy valentine's day i can't help it wordsmith rhymes look you guys wanted the bread wrap you asked for it for what three years three years you guys wanted a conclusion to the bread wrap well guess what you got it <laughs> it will be released in high quality someday but but not publicly probably on the community tab <laughs> Probably the community tab. It's definitely something special. Thanks so much for the support. As always, our boy shrugging emoji. We've also got a big ups to cool cookie crazy guy. Thank you so much. And a big ups to Zell Fuse. Thank you so much for the congrats. Dr. J, thank you very much. I appreciate it. What did I think about the Adam Sandler in space movie? Haven't seen it, but thank you for letting me know about it. Sounds like I got something to watch tonight. A big up to Tony Bones! Thank you so much. You are super cool and super cute. And we love you a lot. Thanks for working so hard on the charity and still coming to see us. Feel better soon, okay? Will do. Thank you so much. I still don't know if I'm going to be um, on a plane in the next couple days. I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm going to find out. And it probably will be at the drop of a hat. And when I find out, it'll probably be like, all right, you're going now. So that's going to be fun. Anyway, look forward. <laughs> Uh, look forward to whatever that will be. But as for streams, it's a little it's a little unknown right now. I definitely need to get back to Persona though, so finish up those VODs, you guys, so we can keep going playing Reload. A big ups too. Thank you very much to Lando. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm kind of glad though. I mean, sometimes you start off sometimes you start off liking some like liking something in an ironic way, and then suddenly you're like, oh wait, I actually kind of like this now. Weird how things like that work. Well, whatever way you may have come out um, liking, I guess, finding out what I do and stuff like that, whatever way, um, if you're a fan now, then I'm glad and I'm happy. Welcome. Thank you so much. Glad to have you here. <laughs> Thank you so much. And a big ups to Michael H. Thank you very much. A big ups to Engine Crafter 77 Thank you. Aw, that's so kind. That's a very, very sweet sentiment to say. I'm just, I don't know, I wanted to make, I wanted to do something positive with all of this and we did and I feel really good about it, so. I guess back to our usually regularly scheduled programming, but it's definitely a wonderful memory that we can all carry with us that we made a difference like that, you know? Ugh, my throat is really given out. Man, I hope, I hope that I can get well soon. <laughs> get well soon. 
A big ups to Phil Legacy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Aww. Every cat in this world wants their belly rubbed. Happy late Valentine's Day. Every cat deserves a belly rub, so I hope that this did make a difference for them. Thank you very much to Michael H. And thank you to Julius Tops as well. Congrats on reaching the final goals. Thank you so much. Yeah, my reaction to the lemurs was pretty funny. I did not plan on that. I did not know that ring-tailed lemurs were going to come out, but... A big ups to Michael H. times two. Thank you so much. Lemur charity. I wonder if there is one. Because I'd definitely donate to that. I love lemurs. We've got a big ups too. Podospa. Podospa san arigato gozaimasu wa. 20th super chat. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day, Callie. I'm happy that I can spend today with you. Love you, Callie. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the merch on the screen just so I can have it. I'm not being forced to show this or anything, by the way. I just kind of feel like I should have it up here because the others did it, so I'm gonna do it too. But then I also want, I want Bibu's card out here too. We can do both. <laughs> also, if you haven't checked out the Valentine's voice yet, I'm really proud of that. Thank you to Jacob Langlet. Happy Valentine's Day, Callie. Thank you so much to Flora Jean and Yenwei. Thank you, congrats on the charity stream. Thank you so much. I know you have what it takes to spay and neuter every cat in the world. <laughs> okay, only only the ones that really that, that kind of needed those strays, especially. Okay, listen. A big ups to Michael H. Thank you and Michael H. Again, Tihi, come back next. No, no Tihi. Thank you to Michael H. Again, five gifted Mori memberships and Michael H. Thank you so much. Why is it untoasted bread if not just regular bread? Mori philosopher of the century. D don't really know what I was talking about there. I think I was still a little sleepy. A big ups to Tierloid. Thank you very much. Drop a line about gluten somewhere in there. Oh, you mean for Ame? Yeah, maybe I'll change it up a little bit. A big ups to Michael H. Thank you so much. Got my stomach tied in <laughs> garlic knots. <laughs> Thank you so much too. Ame! Ame, Ame, Ame for the raid. Thank you, Ame Raid! What else do we have here? Michael H. again for five gifted memberships. And Ame said hello. Thank you so much too. Juck, big ups. Thank you to Del Solstice, thank you. Flim Fam Flammable, thank you very much. Bread's gonna be burnt from all this fire. Thank you to Michael C. and Chuckle Stevenson, thank you very much. A big ups to Devin Dolls, thank you very much. 20th Super Chat, there's a ton of Super Chats. What's going on here? Upper Nickel's cool, but sourdough is where you let your bread flow. <laughs> How does one let bread flow? Is that even a thing you can do? Thank you very much to Gao channel. Thank you, Gao. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will absolutely accept your chocolates. Onigaishimasu, choko chodai. Arigato. Thank you to Game8910. Thank you. Michael H., thank you. And a big ups to Nikodem, as well as Del Solstice and John. Thank you so much, John. A big ups to Teammate Joe. Thank you to Road Forks U, Del Solstice, Prinny's Rock. Thank you very much. Thank you to Biv. And a big ups to Ronald Vexdian. Thank you. A big ups to Biv. Thank you, Biv, for the red super chat. Dr. Seuss, is that you? As I mentioned, Dr. Seuss may have been reincarnated in, into me in that moment. Who could say? Very likely. I could feel at least the power, the, the chakra of Dr. Seuss just taking me over. Oh, another, another redirect? Dang, we're getting a lot of those. Well, we're gonna be doing unarchived singing pretty soon. I'm gonna move it by like 15 minutes, maybe. Yeah, we'll have it moved by like 15-ish minutes. Yep. Um, and then I'll, I guess I'll, I'll redirect everybody there. But thank you so much for the redirect. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you so much to Biv as well for the huge support as always. Thank you very much to Yenwei. Let's go. And a big ups to Somber Apoc. Thank you very much. The legendary bread wrap. W rap. Oh, get it? Bread rap like a rap, but like with W before rap? The W is for win? I get it. Thank you, Sovereign Buck. Thank you. Wow, wordsmith rhymes. Almost as much as of a spiritual lyrical miracle as I am. A big ups just seems likely. Thank you very much. And thank you to Bread. Wow, Bread. Welcome, Bread. Hope you liked the rap about you. A big ups to Aaron Soto. Thank you. Baby Back Fat. Thank you so much. Matthew Nichols. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's a crazy line right there. But I already kind of did half of that, right? 
who put the line idle eyes idolize idol lies in a song on the next album I'll tear three remember for a year <laughs> oh my gosh I mean that is a great idea but I already kind of did half of that and left for dead lullaby idolize still idolize yeah well idol I idolize still idolized yeah that's what it was hmm pretty neat be clever <laughs> That's cute. Thank you, Matthew Nichols. A big ups to teammate Joe. Thank you. Watson needs a gluten free. A big ups to game eight nine one zero. Thank you so much. Please submit it to UMG. Maybe UMJ will take it. <laughs> Maybe that's why Watson says re, because she bites in the bread and it's not good. It's not good. Bad reaction. A big ups to Nama Kimono. Thank you very much for your rhymes. Thank you to Alex Aguili, as well as Cross J. Thank you very much. And MinQXXB. Thank you. A big ups to V Faction. Thank you very much. Pumpernickel. Oh, okay. So it's not Pumpernickel. <laughs> okay. So we got it a little. <laughs> All right. So we're a little off. It's not Pumpernickel. Oh, maybe the dogs like Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. Dark, dense German bread. Made from coarsely ground whole grain rye. You learn something new every day, right? A big ups to Jacato Extra, thank you very much. Wanna eat toast now? Thank you very much to Donger Bread. This gave my entire monthly caloric intake in one night, thanks. Let's go. Only bread, just bread. A big ups to Biv, yet again for another red super chat. Thank you so much and a happy V day to you. I can see the bread wrap rising, rising up the ranks of Mori Kalaipi greatest hits. Congrats, mate. Yeah, we really made some magic today. Forever in my heart, bread wrap. You know, maybe the mainstream can't really see the appeal of the bread wrap, and that's fine. You know? They don't need to. Because you know, over here in Mori Land, <laughs> we can see the spiritual lyrical miracle with our own eyes. And that's all we need. A big ups to Engineer Cabbage, thank you. CS Terror, thank you very much. <laughs> Disgusting, but I mean, yeah. A big ups to John E.G., thank you very much, I appreciate it. <laughs> and a big ups to Miso Stud Udo, Miso Udon Sang, Honto ni Arigato Gozaimasu. Happy Valentine Choco Chodai! Wow, Arigato! Yay, yay, yay! Wow, Sugoi ne. Ureshi. Ooh, Choto Mate. Chotomate? I want to know exactly what they're saying here, so let me find out. Japanese. In Japan, there's a product called karepang. <laughs> Most of you know it's karepang. Not karepang, karepang. Ne? Karepang. You should get some karepang. <laughs> ah, but you can't get it out of your head, huh? Ja, tabete ne? Maybe that'll help. Matilde, thank you very much. Happy Valentine's Day, Seaman wants some chocolates. Why are you giving him chocolates, huh? You think he deserves chocolates more than me? Whatever. Valentine's is about me giving chocolates to you guys, right? At least in Japan. Right? Today is about me giving you chocolates. So, no. As a matter of fact, you can't give him or me chocolates. Here. Brink. for you. You really gotta get better at taking the chocolates though, Deadbeat. A big ups to Skylar, thank you very much. Ooh, here we go. Let's go. I like the, the dollar signs for the S's in the word that describes a cat. That's good, Skylar. A big ups to Matilde again, and thank you to Gilroy Ironheart. Thank you. Tearing up the rats. Is this beef with Heiko? I'm sure. They always have this weird friendship switching off to beef going on. It's very strange. I prefer not to to ask too many questions about it. A big ups to Donger Bread, thank you very much. And <laughs> a big ups to Asas Asas, thank you. Yeah, he doesn't have a pair of four sunglasses. No way he can be cooler than me. Thank you very much to Untitled One. And a big ups to Hyun Young for the sticker. A big ups to Richard G, thank you. Congratulations on your pause for a cause charity being a success. Speaking of birthday, yours was two days ago. Happy late birthday to you, Richard G. Hope you spent it well. And then we've got a big ups to Zekinator77 from the icy tundra, swooping in to say hello to us. Happy Valentine's Day. I am yet again at the tundra again during a holiday. Hope you all have a good one and best wishes from the Arctic beat. Thanks for the many things you do, Callie. Big ups to ya on the successful fundraiser. Your kind acts are to die for. Bing, 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 bing. Shinigami. 
That is what I do. Killing's what I do. It's my favorite thing, being a murderer. But you know, like the, the, the right kind of murderer. The kind of murderer that murders because it's my job, you know? And like the force of nature and whatnot. Anyway, speaking of nature, stay warm out there. Zeke, we're rooting for you. Good luck, okay? Happy Valentine's Day to you. And a big ups too. Potamochi, arigato. Thank you to show me your kitties. A big ups too. Unknit fawn at three. Thank you very much. And a big ups too. Nagato. Thank you so much, Nagato. And with that being said, I am your Mori. Hope you'll remember me, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. We're going over to unarchived karaoke now, so. I hope that you guys will have fun with me there as, I don't know, we do some silly things, sing some silly songs, all because you guys helped raise a ton of money for cats. I'll see you guys there. Bye, everyone. Peace. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. Brink. Oh, oh, da, 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 wait, 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 don't go, don't go, don't go. Don't go. I need to show you the preview of the cover. I can't do it in the, the other, the next stream, right? I can't do it in the unarchived stream because that will be deleted. Don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. It will be, you know, private and whatnot. So I feel like, yeah, we have to do it here. There's, I don't even know. I don't think anyone's gonna know the song, to be honest. I don't think anyone's gonna know. But I'm gonna show you anyway. Little by little. <laughs> stay, stay here, stay here. That was a close one. That was a close one. I can't believe I almost forgot. What's going on? I see some chains. Is that chains? Was that a chain? It's the little by little preview because I can't just bang on the screen. I could never really get get used to that. Little by little. <gasps> is this Mori in cuffs? Why'd they put me in cuffs? Two chains is not a two chains cover. <laughs> Can you imagine though? Two two chains? I don't know. Is that a lemur tail? It's not a lemur tail! What are you talking? I don't even see- I can kind of see how you might think that it's a lemur tail. Or he's going to jail tonight With all my deadbeats feeling right At least my manicure looks on point. Are those Hot Topic arm warmers? Mori was the advent jailer. That's the lore, I guess. Kelly's going to jail tonight with all my deadbeats feeling right. Oh, what an effing sight. Definitely getting some Shiori vibes. <laughs> Going to rap rapper jail after today's songs. My nails look nice though, don't you think? Aren't they painted really well? I think my fashion sense is really on point here. It's definitely like a Shiori fit. And actually, I think the song also really reminded me of Shiori a lot. It's very hashtag not like the other girls kind of song. The fit is definitely there, though. The next song leaked my fursona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we am it there. Kind of tomboy, but also more like hashtag quirky girl, not like the other girls kind of thing. Yeah. What could it be? What could it be? Isn't it cute? I can't show you the whole art though, but I'm gonna leave you with this. The cat in the hat cover. No! Oh, Michael Myers. It's kind of like Yandere vibe. Part of me is kind of hoping that some of you haven't heard the song so it can be like completely fresh to you and it can be like, whoa! She's singing kind of crazy here. Yeah, it's got like kind of a Harley Quinn vibe. Maury Myers. Anyway, this song will come out um, in maybe like several days. So look forward to it. This is also a song that's made by maybe my one of my, my top like three producers of all time. The one that I mentioned recently followed me on Twitter and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. And that was, look, listen, that person, that person, I got the, the notice, the fall, I got it after I recorded the song, okay? So I'm, I didn't do it to pander or anything like that. I was just like, oh, wow, hello, <laughs> I'll do my best. So I'm also covering another song by this person too. So anyway, we'll see uh, how it goes, I'm excited. 
But this is the exact, this is the base art with like no effects on it or anything like that. So you're seeing it kind of like, no, no effects or like coloration and stuff like that. Look forward to it! That's it. <laughs> That's it. Ah, oh, you guys are seeing some crazy, crazy follows from me on Twitter I didn't even know about. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go now. Dang it. Oh gosh, the unarchive gotta start soon. I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys soon. Anticipate. Bye-bye, everybody.